Hello everyone and welcome to the 29th Abu Dhabi Chess Festival 2023. And today we are having round eight here. Today your commentators are going to be International Master Ravi Kumar and me, Women Grandmaster Maria Gevorkian. How are you, Ravi? Oh, I'm feeling really excited. You know, yesterday we had a really nice uh, long matches which were went on. And uh, today is the penultimate round, you know. Yes. And uh, I, I sometimes call this the quick thing yeah. because the grandmasters play very long and then they have to wake up, uh, prepare. Tomorrow morning they should start the game at 10 o'clock. So, um, you know, it's, it's uh, penultimate rounds and followed by 10 a.m. start is always like two rounds in a day. So most of the players need to have lots of energy, yes. they want it. So what is the point position that you see? The current position is that we have one sole leader because Fedosev managed to win his game yesterday, the Rook End game, against uh, Sindarov. And he has six points, which put him in the sole leader position of the tournament. And we have two players, Aravind uh, and Xiu, who have uh, five and a half points. And we have many grandmasters who have five points. So, and today on the first board, we're going to see Aravind playing against Fedosev and Fedosev got his second black color in a row. Yeah, it's not, uh, you know, but at least I think he can, he will be happy tomorrow morning, but today he has to play yes. black. And, uh, you know, regarding that you were telling about that something critical went wrong, you know, so there was... We can make it, we can go through the last moment of yeah, yesterday's we can, game. We can, and we can, until so you get some of the moves. And it was that move h4, and I remember sometime. So basically, yeah. Uh, well, this moment, uh, Black had this winning idea at some point with rook f5 and breakthrough. Yeah. We talked about it, and uh, instead of uh, king d5, okay, but it's not about it for now. And here, White is very well cutting. So basically, the pawn is blocked by the king. Uh, as long as Black cannot capture this pawn, they are okay. White is okay, and uh, white uh, rook is always cutting the king out of the chest of the far from h3 pawn, and yeah. everything was fine. Everything was going great, and so then I think I think that uh, you know I I heard from some grandmasters there was uh, sometimes you know when they feel that there's maybe little advantage, and it is even dead draw they still play on because. Of course. They, they said there is an element of tiredness when somebody is defending accurately for so many moves, there will be a momentary lapse and then, you know, yeah. and then, you know, they will get, and that's what Black was playing for. And I think uh, we could show that if White left the rook on a3, the king will come to h4. Yeah. And, that, and so he has to stop the king coming to h4 as well as he has to stop the king coming to f4 and f3. And that, that was the... We can say that the king always has to be cut. Uh, yeah, has be you know something has to be in check. Like this so that the king will not approach this h3 pawn. Yeah. But what happened in the game is White played very accurately for probably more than twenty moves. Uh, you see, like cutting, always cutting. Always cutting, yeah. Always cutting, and even here, like uh, king h4 doesn't work because, okay, check and uh, king uh, is capturing I, b2. Yeah. So after uh, rook a8, uh, rook e2, check. Yeah, this was the moment where things and really H4. went wrong. And, and h4. Yeah. So why didn't find any move here? This is move number 73. So, uh, you know, this person playing black for endgame for over 20 moves with the best attention and with the clock ticking, you know, this, yeah. this is one little mistake. But I had one idea, maybe, you know, uh, he, we could put the rook on f4 at some time, but I think one of the critical things is that that the rook from being behind the pass pawn has yeah. come to the side of the pass pawn, and what's happened here you can see is that the rook has more freedom, yeah. so he could go even rook h2 and g4 maybe at the right time. I'm I'm just thinking. Every time g4, uh, I will I will just give a check it's, it's from yeah. somewhere. I think white can give a check from here, like let's say rook g8 check. Yeah, and, uh, and then king, king king f5. King f5, I want to keep another check. Check king e5. 
King E4, E5, E5, E5 yeah. you cannot. I yeah. will keep a check and win it. Okay. So King, King E4. E4. And it follows with uh, maybe even, I don't know, just Rook H8 maybe. Yeah, but, but I think with this move you allow King F4. It's not that easy. Uh, every time after King F4 I can just go with this. Here, yeah, King G3. Right? Rook H8, uh, let's say Rook H2. Yeah. And I can always play Rook G8. G8 and then... Uh, and this will always be yeah. checking, checking, checking. Yeah. But what about if I went king f4 here? Well, king f4, I'll just give another check. check. And then king, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, king rook f8 check, king e5. King e5, I, I, I attack Stay on the again. pawn. Later I can even come just to protect the pawn. Yeah, but king f6 now? Uh, I mean, this was my plan, you see, just I need to show you okay, my plan. Yeah, king f6, I will give... Uh, check, king g7. Maybe another check and rook f3. Yeah, rook f3, and now king g6. Yeah. This is you just try to delay the game as much as you can so that you will reach <laughs> to the 50 moves and get yeah. your draw. And uh, yeah, well, that, it's not easy. You have to have a, you have to be a very patient person to be able to do it. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, at some point maybe your nerves will give up. And h4 was played here, which is a mistake, allowing black to create the second passed pawn. And one passed pawn is not enough to uh, stop them. G4, rook g8. King f5. Yeah, and now the king can now hide behind, is, you see. Yeah. As you said that, you know. King is coming and it's uh, like just wins. In yeah, he position. can he can give up the pawn because there is this yeah. uh, famous, uh, even the king bridge. is so far off, the you don't even so need a cut off. You don't need to uh, create the bridge and also this pawn yeah, is on yeah. the h-file, so yeah. you don't even have the checks from the h-file, which means that the pawn is just going to become a queen. Yeah, agreed, yeah. So they played another <coughs> few moves and eventually... Yeah, this is gone. Yeah, White just resigned here. <coughs> and we can say that everything happened because of this move h4. <coughs> and think the rook has to remain on g5 because black king is threatening to come to h2. Yeah. And uh, kind of a... Well, I'm just going to take the pawn and... And then, uh, you know, you, yeah. can, you can win with king h2. And if you try h2. to protect the pawn somehow, like rook g6, I just have king h2 and you, don't, you no longer have this kind of a check. Yeah. Okay, so, so basically this was yesterday's game, uh, thanks which uh, Fedosev got the lead in the tournament. Uh, I can see that Aravind already arrived in the game yeah. and he played d4. And, and he's uh, waiting for his opponent. Waiting for his opponent, so we can start. Uh, so in your opinion, uh, uh, do, you, do you feel, Maria, that, that, you know, that this is round, whether there will be some consolidation or... Oh. <coughs> Or just you know, there you know, because you can see there's there are two people half a point behind. So even if um, the top board ended peacefully, they can catch up, and you know there will be some some. Everything will depend on the very last round. Yeah, but I mean, uh, for example, why Xiuxianju shouldn't play his game? He has five and half, and he has good chances. And uh, well, Arabi <coughs> got the right pieces. Yeah. I think the two Chinese players uh, will be hoping to catch up. You know, uh, Arvind is the winner of the Dubai Open. He, yeah. he is a product of the school from Chennai. Yes. Uh, very good player. And yesterday we saw him play precisely. And yes. you know, and, he played uh, very well yesterday. Yeah, very well done. So, is there another game we can go uh, through? Well, uh, we can start from the second game and yeah. second board and d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5. We have the... Tarash. Yes. Uh, this is that gambit that they are playing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Bishop d7. Bishop d7, queen d4. I think I saw this um, being played uh, that... Uh, you know, I think the person playing black, I think, what, you know, uh, Shamsundar is his name, is it? What's his name? Sorry. Oh, whose name? Uh, the person playing black? Uh, Sulamanli, I think. Yeah, okay. So I, th I think that uh, he, he, he must be uh, very well versed with this to play, the, you know, this kind of gambit to take on because... Yeah. Uh, and um, so... 
He's well prepared, probably, and uh, yeah. Queen A5 was played. Where we can see that he's playing yeah. quite fast. Knight yeah. C6. Knight C6. Yeah. Queen E4, Queen D1, Knight E4. By the way, also White is actually playing not very slow. And Bishop D2 was played, and this is our current position. Yeah. Where White has an extra pawn, but um, well, like got two bishops, and what is happening here? I think that uh, there's an open D file. B pretty sure I'm uh, after Queen D2. After Queen D2. Uh, Queen D2. I, I I feel that there will be a long castle. Maybe something like this. Bishop yeah. Four and uh, another yeah. Pin yeah. All yeah. pieces are very active. You know. Yeah. Uh, White took it with the knight. Is there a move Bishop before right now or Knight B3 will be? Uh, I think bishop? I think uh, I think you know White's main move is Knight C4, which is which is his move. And then, but if you go bishop b4 or something, I think he's going to play queen. Queen, queen c2 first. Uh, queen c2 is knight d4. He can't do yeah. that. So bishop b4 looks very, I very. I might still be able to do it, maybe. Knight d4, queen e4 check. Queen e4 check you have, okay. Some interesting ideas, like. Um, yeah, you have this queen e4 check. Let's say knight d6. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to go too risky to cover yeah. this pawn, but maybe I can just play some move. C3 is hanging. What to play? But even Queen C2, he shouldn't. He doesn't need to play Knight D4. Maybe he he has Knight D4 in his bag, and maybe he he needs to. But castle. my next move is E3, and the bishop goes out, and I castle. Yeah. If, I, if White manages to be to do all of this uh, in time, White will have an advantage because uh, White is pawn up. Yeah. But uh, that's why uh, <clears throat> Black has cannot slow down very much. Yeah, I think I think Black has to get something out of here, and I think the correct idea is after Bishop B4, you said Queen C2. I have to long castle straight away. Yeah, you know? Queen C2. Mm. Okay, yeah. yeah, long castle. Yeah, long castle, and then E3. I have uh, Rook at G8. You know, that's something like that, and I'm threatening Knight D4, and, and you have to play yeah. Bishop E2, and there's Bishop F5. You know, every piece coming alive. Yes. Yes. So so why why so he took knight d2 because he he for sure wanted uh, uh, for sure he wanted that you know not queen d2 because this 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 kind of activity I don't know whether it leads to anything because I think there's queen b3 possible here but uh, yeah yeah so uh, after knight d2, we can say that black is going to play bishop b4 or no? Yeah, I think I think bishop b4 is the most active one, and uh, we can point out to what happens after rook c1. Maybe? Yeah, after rook c1, white I think white is ready to give up this pawn here. Yeah, but I think uh, the plan may not be to take, but the bishop b4 move was more of developing pieces into an active square, yep. and and I, I think that uh, he must uh, start castling. And get rook at g8. Bishop so b4 was played. So it looks like a very exciting game on the cards. Yeah, we're going to have some uh, wild yeah. game happening here. And on the board number three, we have Artemiev playing against uh, Murzin Volodar. And uh, wow, yeah. We're going to have an interesting fight on the board three. And Artemiev caught up. Yeah. After his last uh, mm. loss, he caught up. Uh, different. Well, we're going to. Okay. Yeah, this this is quite standard. You remember yeah. the draw uh, one of the players had. Yeah. Um, after a few moves, bishop f4, knight h5, bishop d2 was the draw. Yeah. So you know, uh, this this is Bogo Indian, Bogo Indian stuff. And uh, uh, from what I heard in this position is that um, Black needs to capture back the bishop or uh, with queen d2. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, some of our viewers may be thinking, oh, okay, why not play a3? But the problem of a3 is that after bishop, bishop d2, queen d2, a5, and then yeah. you have a weakness on b3. I think that's, that's one of the plans yeah. there. <clears throat> well, queen e7 was played, and uh, let's see. It's all standard mean. moves now yeah. here, isn't it? There is g3, there is knight c3, and yeah. uh, all of them are possible. Yeah, all of them are possible. And uh, um, is there a big difference in the rating between these two players? No, it's not. A, it's 60 points. Okay, it's a, it's a big difference, but uh, we cannot say it's a life-changing difference. So the person who is uh, playing white is 60 points ahead or? Down. Uh, black, yeah. So, okay, yeah. this will be a good, nice battle coming up. 
Yeah, we'll see what is happening on the board number three, and let's go to the board number four. And E4, C5. By the way, yesterday, uh, Anton Gujero, he was uh, pushing with the black pieces in the, ga in the end game. And it looked like he had some chances to win the game, but maybe he missed it. And today I saw him in the elevator, we were coming down, and uh, he looked a little bit upset. <laughs> but or, or just concentrating on his game, you know? Yeah. Okay, we have Sicilian, and... Yeah, I think the, 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 this line particularly is quite famous in yeah. UAE, especially uh, some of the children were taught this because it's very easy to play. Yeah. And uh, the next move is bishop b4. Yeah. So that's why white plays this a3, which is considered to be quite good. We, we There's also this line again that knight captures, captures, e5, knight d5, knight e4, and yeah. then it goes like... Uh, that, that's an interesting line. line as well, you yeah. know, but from white's perspective, unless he's fully prepared yeah. and he has that knowledge, a3 is a very simple move. And, a3 and is uh, easy. Queen c7, bishop e3, a6, Paulsen, and f4. Yeah, four, yeah. So the point here is that d6 will be played, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, and and then, then I have a feeling that uh, maybe queen f3 and long castle. Why I've seen, not? I've seen some lines with Why queen not? f3. Yeah, maybe queen f3 will be happening and then long castle and then maybe even g4 next move and uh, white is trying to create some attacking ideas because yeah. Don Gujero, he needs to recover some of his uh, points. Yep. Uh, let's see what he's doing in this tournament, by the way. He is... Um, can we see? Yes. Okay, five points. Okay, okay, this is something uh, not what we needed. I, just I think to he needs well, to win to go back down. into the top, you know, with his rating being 2693, yeah. that we can safely say that. And, uh, okay, so this is a good battle coming up. So Queen F3, we can move to the board number five. Ratanvel and the Matlakov. Also, Matlakov needs to win a few games. Uh, I mean, not there are no many games left, of course, two games left, but yeah. of course he will try to, give, to win some games to yeah. be in the top. Uh, and we have uh, Nydorf. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. in fact, Ratanavel plays this quite, uh, you know, he's played on two occasions in this yeah. tournament. And um, after, so he plays the H3 he line, H3 Fischer yeah. recommended this, and after E5, Knight G2, H5, Bishop G5, Bishop E6, Bishop F6, Queen F6, and then Knight D5, Queen D8, Knight C3. This is kind of a Shvishniko, isn't it? Yeah. With G6, and then now Bishop C4, and, and so what are we saying here? Are we, are we saying that black has the bishop at advantage, but white has got this super outpost on D5? Yeah. And, uh, you know, this, this is, will be a really good match today. I think we're going to have a lot of interesting games today. Uh, bishop c4, the move here is uh, bishop h6. Yeah, and, and then I, you know, yeah. I mean, it's all going to be who, whether how successful is white with that outpost. Yeah. So, you know, some plans of a4, a5 is also in the cards. And I don't see, you know, it's, it's, it's quite he interesting. He spent some time. He spent some time, by the way. Okay, shall we go to the board number six just to go through what is happening in all the boards and... So finally, Hans Niemann has uh, started, crept up to board number five yeah, after he lost uh, that one of the games, but, and I think now this is all theory, everybody plays this. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is a lot of analysis here, uh, you know, and... And you can see modern chess players, would you agree, Maria, saying that they're very well prepared, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, nowadays, all the chess players have the access to the machines, computers, uh, yeah. uh, high analyzing engines and high level. So, uh, and they spend their time and they prepare and they check yeah, the games. They're very, very clear in what they yeah. want. So in this position, okay. Um, but Hans Niemann is thinking. Yeah. Uh, I think I think that here, 
Black is waiting for white to either push e5 and give him the outpost on d5, or white should push d5 because white has put the rook on d1. White pushed d5, trying to create a passed pawn. Yeah, and then, okay, so the, this is the typical manual with e5. Uh, e5 yeah. And then knight e8, and, uh, and then, sorry, uh, no, th this must be rook d5. Yeah, this has to be rook d5, maybe. Sorry. Yeah, okay, rook d5, knight c7, rook d1 was played, and queen e8. And this is the position that yeah, we have Yeah, this is now. the position, you know, what black is saying is, I will put a knight on e6, yes. I'll put the bishop on c6, and then I will reroute my knight on a5, to b7 and c5 because d3 is going to be the square where you know this is all possible and exactly. what has white got in return you know exactly so basically we have uh players who have five points up to the board number nine yeah so we're gonna have another interesting fight here and black is playing quite fast so, so we can say that yeah. uh, Black's I, prep uh, was successful. Yeah, Black's prep looks very successful. I think from White's part, he's probably going to put, you know, H4 at some time, and he's going to try something there, isn't it? Because yeah. there's nothing to break in the center or anything. And Was the game. Shall we go to the top board? Maybe there yeah, are some moves. They started already, and we have uh, moves on the first board. D4, D5, Knight F3, Knight F6, C4, E6, E3. And E6. then he's just showing. He he wants to avoid all the, uh, uh, you know, yeah. counter attack with Bishop B4. So, so and after Bishop F6, I, I think the, yeah, this this and is. I'm not sure if knight c6 was played or no. Yeah, knight c6 was played and knight c3. Yeah, and I think this is again, you know, Arvind Chidambaram is yeah. very well versed. He would have analyzed this in detail. Yeah. Have you heard about this uh, famous academy in Chennai? It's called the Chess Gurukul. Okay. And uh, uh, R.B. Ramesh, who's the coach of Prakrananda. Okay, yeah. He runs the Gurukul and he has produced a lot of good players there. Yeah, I heard. Uh, maybe maybe you saw Magnus Carlsen's interview, yeah. where he was telling that uh, his friend was attending a chess camp in Sweden, where Pragnananda's coach was coaching, and he was like, every time they were doing something, he was like, "Bipa like Prague, be like Prague." Yeah, be so like Prague. Yeah. Apparently, Prague was his favorite student. And yeah. Well, Prague is doing great. They went to the tie breaks now. And, uh, so, so there's a lot of 18. coaching, you know, the, the reason yeah. why you find a lot of good Indian players, I'm yeah. sure, is that there's a lot of coaching going on. And a lot of uh, motivation is going on. Players are also motivated yeah. and uh, people love chess. So this, this, is, this is basically, you know, White is, uh, will have to capture on D5 at some time and play the minority attack, yeah. probably A3, B4. And the point of giving the bishop away is possibly that, you know, the structure will be really solid there. Yeah. So this looks like uh, getting into a really, you know, good opening. And uh, But I was quite impressed with our previous game. It was so much preparation. It was playing bang, 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 yeah, bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the black pieces, right, against Hans Niemann. He was yeah. playing so, so confident, so prepared. It yeah. was a very nice preparation. Successful. Uh, okay, we'll be back to this. Uh, okay, this is the this first gambit board. line. We will, you, shall we visit and see what's happened there? Let's because see what is happening here after Bishop B4. Yeah. Rook C1 was played actually. Yeah, Rook C1, which yeah, is what you I recommend. I thought about this line actually, yeah, and, and then uh, I was thinking Rook E3, but okay. White played Knight C4, and Bishop E6 was played, and well, and I, I have a feeling that this. Um, Yeah, you were right. Rook e3 check, but probably he had bishop e6, you same, know. Same, same bishop e6. Same yes. bishop e6, but I think... I Here think knight d6 shouldn't be uh, working yeah. because uh, I can, after uh, king e7, yeah. uh, this line, one of the rooks, when it will enter here, this knight, uh, how white will be able to protect it, and the king is stuck here in the center, and all the white's uh, flank, uh, queen's flank is almost gone. It, interesting, if you watch the time, he's just spent... Like so a minute and a yeah. half. It's only yeah. the moves that he played. Yes. And uh, he must be very well prepared. So Also another successful preparation, we can say. 
uh, knight c4, bishop e6, and uh, Xuxianju is taking his time to see what is happening in the position. Like uh, yeah, okay. I think his worry is the b2 pawn, correct? Yeah. You can't give the b2 pawn and. Uh, but what to play here with the yeah, white and, and without maybe e4, maybe I have to give it up. Maybe, like let's say I want to play uh, e4. Yeah, I would. I would have thought yeah, that. Yeah, um, thinking about some interesting lines here. Let's say bishop c4. Yeah, may, may, maybe captures, just. Yeah, but queen b2. Yeah. Oh, I have a sacrifice on f7. Yeah, I think you might get away with it. Yeah. Let's say check. King takes. And no, queen no. D5. Uh, yeah, queen d5 or yeah, queen d5 or. Queen e7. You mean uh, king e7? You meant. Uh, king e7. I think played, it, yeah. I think is necessary, but. Well, uh, here I can just play rook e3. Yeah. But queen before check is coming. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I think, don't know I think we, we, we overshot ourselves. I think that for e4 also, black would castle, you know, yeah. I mean, not walk into that. But uh, you, yeah, you but pointed this out. Is, this is just interesting. Like yeah, this, line, this, this is five. just risky chess. <laughs> yeah, but uh, king e7, and I, w I still want to see if there yeah. will be something or no. It's interesting mm -hmm. to calculate. Yeah. Uh, maybe queen e5? Yeah. Okay, here king e6 is possible. Yeah, and then queen f5 check. check. Check, 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 check. Yeah. Okay, anyways, I think we went too far. Uh, no, but, but you know, maybe this is forced because if you waste a move to defend the knight on c4 or something, the problem is you know, it will be even rook d8. Be uh, rook d8, queen I think. C1. Yeah, queen c1. Queen I think c1. There's, there's something like this. and Maybe I, queen c1 now, here. Yeah. I just just uh, want to point out there is a trap after after e4 you're setting a very cunning trap there. Can I just point out e4? You're playing rook a3 to trap that. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you you are okay. setting so a nice trap. Castle is, is impossible yeah. because. So castle impossible because yeah, rook a3 rook a3 just just uh, traps here. Queen is gone. Yeah 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 yeah. So so it's an interesting move e4. You know, uh, set sets up the trap and. Uh, and uh, even even I feel that I've seen one line here after e4, bishop takes c4, bishop takes c4, uh, queen b2. Uh, e4 was played by Yeah, rook, rook b3. Rook b3, okay. Yeah. Queen uh, has the to go to e5. Queen have to go to e5. This is what I thought that, you know. Rook b7. Yeah, rook b7. Uh, can I just take queen on e4? Queen e4 check, yeah. This, this looks very, yeah. very, very tricky. Well, e4 was played. We guessed the move. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really well done. E4. But uh, there was but no other move. You know, queen c1 was very passive. And white somehow has to go out with this bishop and castle. Yeah. If it doesn't go out, then white is uh, going see, to struggle throughout the whole game. See, e4 sets the trap, okay? Yeah. So let's, let's, let's make sure that the queen has nowhere to withdraw, isn't it? Can't go to queen a6 because you'll get into the battery. Of course. Knight okay. D6, so the, this exactly. queen is trapped. So bishop c4 is a must move, or, yeah. or, or rook d8. Uh, rook d8 I don't like, because queen c1 and uh, black is not uh, managing. Uh, yeah. You will still have to capture, and I capture, and b2 is no longer hanging. Yeah, queen c1 again renews the trap. That's the yes. point, you know. After rook d8, queen c1 renews the trap. And then, and I feel that white has got some edge here. Yes. Okay, so e4 is played e4 is and played and uh, maybe bishop c4 is forced, as you said. Yeah. Bishop c4, bishop c4, queen b2. There's no other move, isn't it? Maybe queen a5 is possible. It's a choice, uh, but queen a5 maybe just not easy to say. Okay, um, bishop c4, queen b2, and here it's white to play. It's a very interesting position. Can I just go rook b3? Yeah, rook b3, queen e5. I was even proposing castling. And castling. here I want to do something. Bishop f7 and... No, the knight e7. That's why I don't want to. But maybe I just... Maybe I just rook play... Rook b7. No, no, I put my bishop on d5. Maybe that's maybe more interesting. Just bishop d5, yeah. Yeah, this is quite... But uh, white has a lot of choice. That's the problem. And uh, when you don't know the opening and you have to choose what you, you, what you want to play, and there are so many lines and you don't know the evaluation of the position, it goes very yeah. hard. But uh, okay, e4 was played and uh, we can say that he played uh, And I think this played. is the first position maybe black is thinking now, you know? Yeah. So he must have everything prepared very well. Maybe he had his preparation until like... Yeah, until now he's thinking, okay. Until like... Uh, Instead of rook c1, maybe he had some other move in his mind. 
Can we look at one of the girls playing in the master section? That would be interesting. Yes, sure. Uh, let's check Asao Baeva. Here there she is. She's on the board number 11 and she's playing against Pranav. And yeah. we have an... Okay, it uh, transformed to some Maroti system from English uh, opening. Yeah. And, uh, before and uh, Bishop before. Yeah, this is quite active play, isn't it? It is. It I is. think I think now if knight c6, um, probably b into c6 will be played and... Uh, yeah, they yeah. will capture and then e4 is yeah. playing. Yeah. d5 is always a possible idea. And uh, here I... White has a few moves, but uh, maybe bishop d3, but after bishop d3, just d5, right? Yeah, d5, yeah. Queen e5. I, I, what's wrong with d5? Yeah, 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 d5 is quite yeah. quite straightforward. It's a very uh, typical idea to yeah. push d5. Not, not every pieces. game is uh, fisher Petrosian, yeah? Yes. With the two yes. pawns. <laughs> we got to mention that, you know, because, you know, some people read those games, but, but this, I think that... Um, Bishop b4 threatens the pawn on e4, mm -hmm. and uh, e5, now e5, I'm, I'm just thinking e5, where is the knight going? Knight e4? Knight e4, yeah. Oh yeah, knight e4, and then he's yeah. uh, quite successful. Okay, we can't do that. Well, uh, how many points Asao Baeva has? She has three and a half points out of six. Yeah. So this uh, this no, is she's not on the board. Yeah, she's on the board. Today. She has four and a half. Yeah. Yeah. She has so so this pa position has some merits for black is threatening the pawn on e4. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. Yeah. Let's go back to the game. I lost it at some point. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We okay. we we are back here. We're back, we're here. back here. Okay. So knight e4 is threatened. Okay. Let let's now start thinking, like a chess player. Okay. Does black wants to play knight d4? No, black has this e5 stuff, which... Not yet. It which, will be followed um, by knight c6. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think that there is some queen a5 thing coming up. Mm -hmm. So f3 is the obvious move, but f3 is d5, isn't it? Just blasting no, it. White has to capture the knight on c6. Yeah, white has to capture that now. Yeah, yeah. Knight takes c6 and bd3. Yeah, but uh, she's taking her time, but black thought even longer. But I think at some point uh, the theory was lost. Uh, let's check out at which moment. Yeah, in this position, the move is the most common move is d5. Yeah. And uh, black is fighting for the center. But in the game, it was played a6, and white uh, didn't lose any time to play e4, bishop b4. Yeah, I think I think you are absolutely right now. Knight into c6 has to be played, and then possibly bishop d3. Yeah. You know, in in speaking, when when I don't know, I mean. When somebody is playing a game, the most yeah. important thing is to place your pieces in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that that's quite interesting. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this game is going to be interesting. I think. Really interesting. Okay. Is there any other game or preparation? Maybe sh someone from our chat has a preparation to check in some game. Just yeah. let us know. By the way, we have another draw. Yeah, I think what I, what players. I was going to suggest is: is there another grandmaster who is? bit down, not not having yes, four points. Okay, we, we, I can, can we, uh, we can show that to Chinese players. Yeah. Zhao, Yusun, Yu, Yuan and uh, Li Di. Yeah, this, 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 this will be a good battle again, you know. Yeah, yeah it ended in a draw and, uh, well, we have Kobalia on the board 14. And, yeah, uh, Kobalia is really a good player, you know, he's, he's played really solid yes. chess for many, many... Vantika Agraval, she did a draw against uh, yeah. Vahidov. Uh, so this would yeah. be a fast draw, we can say. Sochko Bartosz is playing on the board number 20. And, well, he's well prepared. But the thing is that we are following to see who's going to eventually win the game, win yeah. the tournament. So who's got the chance in your Who opinion? got the chance? Uh, I, of course, Fedosev. Of course, Aravind. Of course, Xiu Xianju. And of course, all the players who have five points right now. Okay, so, so so basically today's game is going to be very important and we didn't see any friendly approach yeah. today, isn't it? Everybody were... Yeah, it was only the, between the two, two Chinese players, it was yeah. a fast draw, the rest are 
And Vantika's game was fast draw. The yeah. rest are still playing. Tomorrow the game will start at 10 a.m. So they need some time to prepare for themselves. Because usually when they play, they, they might play long. Like they might play yeah. until uh, 10 p.m. even. So imagine if uh, you finish your game at 10 p.m. and then you have to... Not much time and to then, rewind and, you yeah, know... Yeah, and then you have an important game the next day and yeah. then you go home and you don't know when to sleep, when to, to prepare, yeah. maybe when to pack, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, oh, when to pack is a good thing, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> See, there's another game I was going to suggest this. Abdul Rahman Al, Al Malik, he's been playing in right in the top. Abdi Salimov. Yeah, Abdi yeah. Salimov, yeah. He's been playing right in the top oh, and, and now he's playing with... Uh, uh, Narayanan. Narayanan, and, and, yeah. and this again is now looking to be really interesting, isn't it? And Narayanan is always playing a very yeah. interesting. Okay, very we have uh, we have the this line. This gambit, isn't it? Um, yeah, bishop is seven. Again, black is pawn up. We have a lot of gambits today. Yeah, a lot of gambits. So too. many people are sacrificing pawns. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think here we can highlight the bishop on c8. That's going to be the important piece yeah. for coming out, isn't it? And and so I think I think that uh, black squares I, I, are weak. Yeah, I'm expecting h4, h5. Well, yeah, black squares are weak, but uh, luckily for black, black has is this uh, bishop, which is black squared, and it's going to be protecting yeah. the squares. Uh, neither bishop f8 is possible probably now. But uh, okay, first of all, black needs to fix the problem with this bishop. Yeah, the the I think the idea here, more more of idea here, is that there will be some c4 and d5. Yeah. Also, we can say that Naranan is uh, in his preparation. Yet. Yeah, he's in his good his he's good in preparation yet. And, and, uh, and uh, I think if we uh, place b6, I think he's planning bishop e4, and that is quite yeah. uh, you know. For b8, then. Uh, yeah. Then uh, h4 doesn't work right now, but maybe even bishop c6 might be possible. Maybe knight e5, just get the bind, you know? Knight e5, knight e5. Yeah, just get the bind, yeah. you know? This, this, this is the problem. What to do after knight e5, really? Yeah. <laughs> I might even sacrifice it on g6 at some point. Yeah, you, you are <laughs> said, but I think it's a positional bind also is coming and he can't For example, it. let's say knight f6, can I just take? Uh, no, I'm I mean, I, mean I, I, w I was more, yeah. yeah I mean, let's say takes, takes. Problem, okay, problem is no he, he can for, ignore yeah. this for a minute, yeah. you know, that's the problem. It, yeah. So knight, uh, so in that position, knight e5, knight f6, okay, does he have bishop c6 first, you know, is that what we're saying that after, uh, no, 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 uh, we, we missed a move, bishop e4, b6, bishop yeah, e4, b4. Uh, rook b8, b8, knight e5, knight and f6, and I, I, I think that, yeah, bishop c6. Uh, and bishop d7, I think this, 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 that now you can't touch. No, I can take the bishop. No, no, you don't. Uh, yeah, you can take a knight c6. Yeah. yeah, okay. I, oh, yeah, takes a knight c6. Yeah, I just the, take you, the yeah, 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 yeah. So this like, b6 not possible. Yes. That's what we are demonstrating that it's not black has got that problem, isn't it? So after well, rook d1. Black has problems. Black has problems. This is yeah, after rook d1, white is simply saying, uh, my idea is to play c4, d5. And you were mentioning about bishop f8. I believe that bishop f8, uh, probably queen d2 will be more more in line with the idea of queen jumping to f4. Yes. You know, so I mean, th this is not easy play. Uh, white, white has a quite uh, pleasant position. Yeah, so we got two gambits here. One gambit here and yeah, one... Yeah, and on one the gambit on the second board that we can... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. After e4, rook d8 was played. Yeah. Queen. White continued, knight d6 check, not yeah. queen c1. Yeah. King f8, and after this, white played queen c1, because so rook d6 we is can impossible. Show, we can show to the viewers why, why uh, king e7 wasn't played. Yeah, after knight uh, d6, king e7. Yeah. I think it is still queen c1. I think it is uh, rook a3. No, no, rook a3 is also okay. Rook a3, no, rook, rook, uh, rook a3, queen b2, right. So just queen c1. Queen c1 with the idea of rook a3. Rook a3. Still the knight is not yeah. touchable. So queen c1, queen a4 was played and white captured knight b7. Yeah. Now this queen e4 was taken, queen e3 was played. Yeah. And what is happening now? It 
Can I think this is like queen b1, queen c1, queen e4, and uh, repeating the. Yeah, there is queen b1, indeed, you're right. Queen, queen b1, b1 and uh, queen c1. Queen b1, I can play rook c1 and then queen c5 check. And... But what happens if black just simply goes to the end game, like queen e3? Queen e3, uh, for example, uh, rook e3, and. Yeah, I think what white is saying is that, you know. Uh, I don't feel any anything threatened here, you know, I mean, of course I want to play queen e3 and then if you play rook e3 then probably I have rook b8 and rook yeah. b2. So I think, you know, he's queen black, e3 black is okay. Yeah. So but queen e3, nice maybe to... fe3 is forced, you know. Yeah. Then queen e3, fe3, no, I... FE3 is forced. If f is 3 I will capture, I will play rook b8. Yeah, but I have rook c6, I have you see, c6. so I'm okay. Is there a line like with the queen e3, let's say text? Okay, it was played actually. And uh, white captured with the f pawn, right? Yeah, this looks. But uh, very quickly, let's, uh, let's show what would happen after uh, queen b1. Uh, there was a move rook c1, queen b2, and, and knight d8. Okay. Or just queen c5 check and then knight d8. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I think why, why, I think. That's why he played queen e3. Queen b1, yeah. he's got rook c1. Okay. So queen e3 was played, captures and captures. Captures and f1 this was looks very almost equal, by the way. instantaneous because he needs to hit the knight, you see. Yeah. And, I, cool. and I have a feeling here that this, he's got, so black's main problem is the rook on h8. He will have to bring that rook out. And uh, I think he can play some solid move like uh, knight e5. This, this is what I'm expecting him to do. And, and bishop e2. Yeah, bishop e2. And then, you know, how do I get my knight out? Maybe uh, I don't have king e7. Wait, That's wait, wait. 95 is impossible. No, no, no. no 95 is impossible. Now the rook yeah. is... So he has, might have to rook go rook c8. b8. Rook b8 first. Rook b8 or rook c8. The rook no. c8, of course, is very passive. Yeah. So rook b8 has to play the, to be played. They yeah. exchange. Yeah. And, and then, then rook c2, we have to go. Yeah. But this is much better, isn't it? He can play king e7 now and, and you know, yeah, I, black, I prefer black, black will here. Push. Black will push. I prefer black. If there is a will, black will just push here a little yeah. bit. So quite interesting development. Started like a gambit. Yeah. But then, you know, there were, you know, probably it's all part of the preparation. Yeah. So now this black was uh, well prepared, but now white has more time. Uh, yeah. Okay, shall we go to check what the f what is happening on the first board? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, okay, you know. nothing much is happening. A3 was played, yeah. but we can say yeah. that Aravind caught up with the time with better save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ar Aravind uh, often gets into big time pressures, uh, you know. Yeah, I never, I never felt people who like to get into a time pressure, you know. Yeah, yeah. But there are people, we can say it definitely, that they get into a time pressure and they feel way more comfortable playing there. It's very stressful, but they really feel comfortable. I had one coach, every game he was playing, he was in a time travel. <laughs> and he was trying to force me to think longer, and I was, I was yeah. never all able to do it. So, I think, I think Blitz is a skill you need to develop. You know, it's um, often part of preparation. You as a grandmaster yeah. might have come across playing a lot of Blitz improves your vision, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I knew Vishy Anand, uh, you know, and he, he, he used to come to our local club yeah. and he used to play like at least 500 blitz game on the day. 500? Blitz wow. game. Every, every, everybody comes in has to play him and, you know, that's part what I felt that he is, uh, he improved his uh, vision and skill and that's why he's quite good in blitz, you know. Yes. So blitz helps you to get into blitz, a shape. Blitz, and blitz will help uh, you yeah. with, with the vision. Because, you know, with, with clocks uh, uh, and, you know, seconds ticking that you need. And I think here that, um, that you know, B4, I'm expecting B4 to come up. But, you know, it's, it's quite solid here, quite, uh, quite solid. And, uh, yeah. Well, uh, we're going to have a long game here. Yeah, we, we, we do. But Fedosev, how you how you feel? Like, what do you think he thinks? Like, got the second game with the black pieces in a row. Um, yeah, I think I think when the pairing appeared, you know, he he already played a long game yesterday, isn't it? 
and you know uh, he must have you know, gone home and said, yeah. "Phew, okay, job done." And then another black. And, yeah, and then I'm gonna get white tomorrow. Or like yeah, I, I, I think whatever the. Win color. one more game, and then uh, yeah. I will try to do a draw the last game with the because all he needs is to win today. Yeah, all he needs is one win, and. Uh, He it's to not easy to his win with, his, uh, with the black pieces because then but, you have but, to go. But uh, what I can say is that, you know, whether it is white or black, it's better off playing this key game today and tomorrow yeah. morning having white will give him an edge, you know. Yeah, but these things happen when, uh, let's say, you're a sole leader and you mainly played everyone and there is only one person left that you have to play against and you are higher rated. Uh, no, when you have more points, then your opponent is changing the color and not you. <laughs> there is something like this. We yeah. can check it. So yeah, I think I think yeah. the ruling might be correct, but maybe that if Arvind, your rating Ar Ar is higher, you change the color. Yeah, Ar yeah, Arvind also might have played two blacks in a row. We can check that. Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, the thing I just I just checked it. Uh, so basically, his colors are fine, but when you are higher rated, uh, you are getting, you are changing the color. Yeah, but this but one. But if you have same points. Yeah. But if you have higher point. The higher rated then player. The higher rated player is not changing the, the point, color. The yes, color. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. So or getting black the, again. This is the rule. So yeah. that's why he got the second. Uh, second black in a row, in a very important uh, moment. But uh, well. He's fighting very well. He's yes. he's showing a very nice chess in this tournament. Very solid, very mm -hmm. high level, and uh, and yesterday the FIDE president is here. We could talk about that because uh, um, you know he was here and he did the inauguration. Yes, and uh, he was seen tr talking to the players in the uh, arena. Yes. I believe he's going to stay for the awarding ceremony. Yes, and, hopefully. Uh, and I, I believe there's a two back-to-back -back tournament. He's yeah. finishing here, and then there's something happening in Dubai. Also, tomorrow is the prize-giving ceremony for yeah. the World Cup because yeah. we're going to know who is the winner of the World Cup 2023. So, of course, it's a big honor to have the FIDE president with us now, and not in the World Cup, we can yeah. say. Yeah, right? I think I think there's maybe some calculation there that you know. This prize giving is tomorrow. Ah, okay, maybe the and, other one. And nothing there. will finish so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe he's expecting a really protracted uh, struggle for him to, you know, go back there. Yes. And but, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure that if some decisive result happened today that he should be, he will be looking. But I think maybe there there is a lot of fight between Pragnananda and Yes, there is and a, Carlson, there was a you very know. fast uh, draw today between them. Magnus decided not to play with the white pieces. Yeah. And uh, he said that he got uh, food poisoned and he couldn't eat anything for the last two days. So oh dear. Yeah. And he was like, maybe I could push a little bit because I got a rest day and Prague had to struggle yesterday in the match uh, against uh, Caruana. And I could try to push with the white pieces because I'm less tired, but I got the poison and... Uh, yeah. You know, I just need to recover my strength because I don't have energy. That was he, that is what he said. So, so, yeah, well. So this is very delicately balanced and you can see now the last move knight a5 and and I'm I'm expecting that black is uh, wants white to release the tension in mm -hmm. the center and um, and I believe that uh, possibly c takes d5 e takes d5 b4 the knight will drop back to b7 and then yes. possibly come out but uh, this is all part of there yes. so which other game are we going into for uh, a quick so in the second board it happened like what we predicted like yeah. captures uh, uh, and uh, rook b8 and knight c5 was played not rook yeah, c6 yeah knight c5 not not uh, because now he has to keep the tension and yeah. I believe uh, rook b6 or what, what? rook b6 probably so, has to be played. Yeah, rook b6 uh, will be played. Uh, Knight d6 and rook c6 is uh, yeah, yeah. right now. I, th I think rook b6 looks very much okay, and I think that uh, and black is just one more away from releasing the tension of yeah. king e7. If so uh, black will manage to play the king e7. Yeah. So where is white putting the bishop? You know, maybe bishop e2. Quite more, but but I think this look is like is fizzling out to. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 you know. 
Well, this game is. Uh, what are your predictions for this game? I I, I feel that uh, that you know after rugby six, which is the move, I, I feel that uh, I don't know if he can play ninety five or. I feel like or, this game is going to be a draw. Or, or maybe after rook b6, white will get something slight edge after taking on e6, putting his bishop on c4. And, you know, maybe that's it. We can show that. Rook b6, and then knight takes e6, f takes e6, and then bishop c4. Mm. And okay, then. Bishop c4, there is rook b2. Rook castles check first, and then. Oh, okay. okay. Castle check. Yeah. Uh, King g7, and now bishop b7, you mean. Bishop, Bishop e6, six, yeah. Um, yeah, this yeah. this looks something little, but again, it looks all very minimalistic, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It does. Well, uh, my prediction is a draw for this game, to be okay. honest, because uh, if uh, Xiu Xianju will get a chance to fight for a win, I think he's definitely he going to go for it. But if there is nothing, uh, he's not going to risk it. Yeah. Because he's already in a comfortable situation. and. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, uh, of course, the wind will be happy. I don't know whether you heard about this. Generally, I think Asian players they like the mod the game in the morning much more than yeah, it's Europeans. And, uh, you know, they they are quite uh, you know suited to that. I knew one grandmaster from. Well, I cannot say that about the UAE players, by the way, because <laughs> the uh, <laughs> so UAE players, you know, they they have a different yeah, uh, they like to different approach to the tournament. We can say, but I know some grandmasters really on the previous day played the most brilliant chess. Then in the morning at ten o'clock, this happened in one of the Dubai Open okay. tournament. I ha and and I saw him just you know nothing on the day, just deteriorate and lose the game yeah. very quickly in twenty twenty four moves. And, and simply, you know, they can't play in the morning. But yeah. but I think this looks like, so this is our next game. Okay, let's go to the third board. Third board. Yep. Where is it? Okay, we have it now. Well, nothing changed since the, till the opening. Uh, Matlakov's game. Um, so Bishop H6 was played, like you said. Yes. And castle. then castle, castle, and then bishop b3. And knight c6. 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 And I think that this knight is coming to d4, which is the main part, I think, you know. And uh, and, and and knight e2, kind of. Uh, there's knight e2, maybe there's knight a5 knocking out the bishop, so that's what. Is there a choice to play a 4 somewhere? Well, you could play f4 now, and uh, I believe e takes f4. And then the knight will sit on e5. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, not now. Yeah. After change, after change after knock off, and then yeah. Well, knight will sit on e5. Okay. I think that think this is quite comfortable, yeah. and and I I prefer the bishop will at some time outplay, but so he can't play this f4. Let's check the game uh, between. Um, Hans Niemann's game is going quite in interesting. Yeah, that's quite uh, interesting. And the, the, the opening was like they were playing in big blitz and... Uh, yeah, and we got to this position. And they're still continuing to play fast. Uh, bishop yeah. e3, knight c6, knight c3, bishop g4. Yeah. Bishop f4 was played, b4. Knight e4, knight e6. And queen e3. Queen e3, yeah. What is happening here? I think that at some time white wants to play, put the knight on d6 at the moment, but um, I'm, I'm not so happy that the queen and the rook are a bit tangled, you see. I like white's position. Yeah, white's position looks uh, much better now, isn't it? It does. So and even even, see, it even I can collect the bishop pair with h3. Yeah. This is part, part of my program. But maybe I think that when the knight comes to d6, you know, that, that pass pawn might, might be the deciding factor for white. I think I like white's uh, arrangement of pieces most definitely. So he's played queen e3 to get out of the pin. And... Uh, yeah. yeah. It looks uh, very comfortable, isn't it? Yeah, rook so he played rook d8, okay. Uh, so, can, I, can I still play so, knight d6? Yeah, knight d6 is still... Let's check it out, knight d6. Six, six, he, bishop d6, e d6. Six. E d6, uh, is there a knight f4? Knight f4, queen f4, I, I will prefer f4, white after f4. this. 
and what do you want to do? Like, this is hanging. Yeah, no, okay. no. Yeah, it's no, many things are wrong. It's a bad, yeah, yeah. No, this, I think, things gone not well for black, actually. Absolutely, yeah. So, so rook d8, knight d6, what to play? Yeah, I think Maybe that. just queen d7. Yeah, maybe just queen d7, yeah. Because and, and now you don't have, like, knight c4. You don't have uh, knight c4 or knight f7 because the, he will take the two rooks yeah. happily. So queen d7, and again, I think that that uh, looks nice, isn't it, knight d6? It does. Uh, for now, I prefer the white's position, but I feel like there will be some tactical opportunities at some point for black. Because, uh, well, it's hard to say. Knight d6, what happens? So knight d6 looks really nice, and, uh, you know, I... I can we highlight the pawns to show that those are the pawns that are kind of hanging? Uh, which one? C4, C4 and, and B4 is, you know, those B4 are the... C4 is not hanging yet. But no, yeah. not yet, but, I mean, they are loose. That's yeah, what yeah. I felt. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. At some point. Yeah. They either going to become a very strong fast pawns or uh, they're going to be... A yeah. And Han Hans Niemann is a very experienced player, you know. I mean, he must have played a lot of uh, many, many tournament yeah. games. He had this famous win against Carlsen. Of course. Yeah, all that is possible. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, shall we check what is happening on the first board and go for a short break? Yeah, we'll go for a short break and... Uh, uh, nothing changed on the I, first board. I think board. like we, we predicted that CD5 was forced. Yeah. So now I think he just went Bishop D3. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, so essentially here, how does... Uh, I think... He's hoping to trade the bishops. That's that's part of his plan. Yes. Bishop f5 is part of his plan. And, you know, it's it's very solid play here. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting game. And, uh, well, we'll go for a short break. Yeah. And uh, for everyone, see you soon. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Because uh, I think we'll be back on uh, some interesting moments already. Yeah. Uh, don't go anywhere. You're following the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival. See you guys soon.
Welcome back everyone to the eighth round of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival 2023 and we are back from our break. Ravi, how was the atmosphere at the playing hall? Yeah, Can I visited you? the playing, playing hall and I could see it's filled with lots of tension and you know grandmaster pacing up and down and uh, and you know the, we could see that there is a real urgency in some of them wanting to win today yeah. to to you know to do successful well because this is a hard work of six seven days now we have to play well in the last two rounds yeah everything uh, a lot of things depend actually actually from the last two rounds because well you do hard job but then also, you shall count that the chess tournaments are quite long, and uh, by the end of the tournament, uh, it depends like how much energy you spent at which moment and how much energy you saved for which game. Yeah, and and, and uh, you know, and and this this particular game that you are talking that I was really surprised to see two gambits. You know, I mean, yes, okay, maybe round one, round two, but yes. But uh, not uh, in um, you know not in the penultimate round. You know you mm -hmm. must be really super prepared to play that thing, and um, and I, I could see a lot of grandmasters. Just you know the, uh, you could see that the the entire okay. air is filled with tension. Sorry for interrupting, uh, but can we have the camera on the first board because I think they are repeating the moves. Okay. Yes, it is repeating the moves because uh, oh, I can okay. see them uh, in even, the yes. Even I think he's uh, yes, putting yes. The, so, the thing down and uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, black must be, or, or is that something else happening? Or, oh, he's I signing. think that they repeated uh, the position no, for three okay. times because I saw that they ordered, offered the draw and the, then they started repeating. So basically, they're just going to check if there were uh, three times repetition in the game and we are going to have a draw on the first board. Yeah, I think I think it was... Uh, it's a nice result for Fedosi, we can say that. Yeah, yeah, he's going into the last round. Of course. Uh, possibly he's going to tie the lead and, and, uh, and I think that... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm a bit surprised that White uh, repeated moves, you know, I felt that, you know... Yes, yeah, so he, 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 will he's, go for... Uh, Game, he, right? He's known to be, you know, fighting a lot of games, but here, really surprised that it's a, it's a draw. Yes, yes, but uh, why not? I mean, well, uh, Fedosev is in a very good shape. He's playing a very good chess, and um, of course, chess players can see it. Uh, so get off early, early dinner, and yeah, and you know, they have an early morning tomorrow game, and yeah. uh, well, it depends from. Uh, other games, but uh, the chat is saying that uh, them repeating opens the door for everyone else to tie for the first. Exactly. Basically, if we are going to have a lot of results today, and let's say Fedosev is going to do a draw tomorrow, for example, yeah. if the game ends in a draw, then we're going to have a big f tie. Uh, yeah. Because the fight is so close, you know, it's yeah. so close. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and with my, my point, if we can f show the board now, the, now that we're back in the analysis that looks like empty one, empty on the first board. Both players have left now. Yes. Yes. Looks like... Uh, yeah, they finished the game. So, no, it's draw. It's official. It's, uh, so why did he not play Bishop F5 or something like that? Or maybe it's the last round being 10 a.m. after Bishop F7, King H8. Uh, every, everything matters, yeah. right? Uh, because, okay, Bishop F5 could be played, but... Um, yeah, this, this we, we thought was the thematic way to play because exchange the bishop, but... Yeah. But I think it's... But why, what is the problem for the black here? I don't see any problem yeah, in the no. black's position. And uh, why not? Maybe, maybe even he can go bishop b7 and avoid the exchange, you know. Yes, because so you can never attack this knight. If you play b4, I will always have knight c4. Absolutely. And, 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 and I think white is not in a mood to take the risk. Um, and, you know. Yeah. Okay, so we have a draw on the first board. And we can definitely say that we have already one player with six and a half points and... Aravind is six points. Let's go to check the second board to see what happened here. After knight c5, rook b6 was played. Yeah. And here you were offering to play bishop e2, right? 
I was I was thinking to take on e6 to and then play bishop, and then bishop c4. c4 with the idea yeah. king e7 castle rook b2 and bishop yeah, c6. Yeah 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 yeah. Yes. But maybe maybe white doesn't want to do that because white might just now play simply b3 because his knight on c5 is pretty strong so he might yeah. just play b3 and black plays king e7 and then I don't know he might uh, play bishop to d3 or you know he, he i feel that he you know that knight on c5 we have a moves actually after yeah. b6 knight e6 was played and okay. uh, black captured and you think we're going to see bishop c4 here possibly uh, you know he would even play b3 here I, I feel that he has to keep that pawn so definitely just play b3 and king e7 yeah. put the bishop on c4 mm -hmm. and whether you, white doesn't even need to castle here isn't it it's uh, it's it's going to be long game here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not easy exploiting, you know, black. I guess, yeah. you know. Well, it's going to be uh, either a long game or it's going to be a very fast draw. Another I draw, feel like, which yeah. is going to help uh, our board number one because yes. uh, this was one of the person who can catch up with him with a win, but. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, well, shall we move to the board number uh, three? Three. Uh, Artemiev is playing with the black pieces and uh, this game is going so slow and knight c3, yeah. castle, bishop b2, everything is e5. fine, e5, castle, bishop f5 and knight h4. Yeah. Yeah, white wants to capture the bishop or uh, shall black actually exchange the bishop with the knight with bishop g6 or... I think, I think that, that the idea of knight h4 is that, you know, if black doesn't want white to play h6 and so he has to send this bishop yeah. back. So bishop has to go and to then maybe knight f3 back and then you know h6 will maybe I'd another repetition or uh, bishop d7 let's say knight f3 uh, bishop f3 yeah it's possible h4. yeah it's possible but i think uh, uh kind of field position is quite even but uh, you know this kind of move knight h4 there might be the start of another draw happening here yeah yeah well a knight h4 bishop d7 i think is going to be played but he's taking his time and uh, let's move to the board number four, where Anton Gujero is playing against Wow, Lu, Shang Li, and Anton Gujero. I think he's the one throughout the whole last few games. He's the one like trying to fight for his uh, every point. Like uh, he wants to. Queen f3 was played. Yeah. And it followed by uh, e5. Yeah. And knight c6. Black captures bishop c4. c4. Takes queen takes yeah. bishop b7 and. Long castle, white is not afraid of this open b file. Short yeah, castle I think he is, he's, he's not afraid, and and you know, I think that uh, you know this kind of position. White is saying my knight on c3 is doing well, my bishop on c4, my bishop on e3, yeah. my queen is already active. You know, uh, and you know he would, he, yeah, he could, he could go. Even bishop c5, which yeah. is bishop c5. That's what uh, what he's, he played. So basically, d6 is hanging now, and it's pinned. So knight e8 is f kind of forced. Uh, maybe knight h5 is another move. Uh, after yeah. knight h5, yeah. there is bishop d6 probably. Yeah. Yeah. So knight e8 is forced. So no, no. Yeah, is knight h5, bishop d6, knight f4, bishop c7, and then the bishop is quite yeah. strong. Yeah. Is there a move rook d8 here or? Rook d8, I would have thought some... There's even uh, bishop d6, bishop d6, e5. Yeah. No, bishop... No, or, or, or bishop just... Go back. Or rook d8 also, I think that, uh, you know, maybe just rook h1 and, you know. Yeah. So this is quite a uh, good move, bishop c5. Maybe he's also planning that, you know, the bishop will be rerouted to d4. For example, if you played like rook d8, I can go back bishop d4. Yeah. And, you know, he just forced the no, rook. I mean, I don't need to move the bishop now, right? Because... Uh, no, I agree, but the uh, point is that now f7 is hanging, and so he might just yeah. put bishop d4, and he's, he's got a little victory now. It's Maybe both. just rook d2. Huh? Bishop d4, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I get what you mean. Also, e5 is a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Also, maybe rook d, just rook d2 and uh, trying to uh, double the rooks and attack d6. Well, uh, Anton Gujero is definitely pushing in the position. And he, Not definitely, but... Uh, he's one of the person who is, 
trying to win and I think if he wins he he will still be half point behind isn't it uh, he will be half point behind from Fedosev but it yeah. will be a huge step because he will catch up uh, the leaders we can say not the leader but uh, from mean, the second place and yeah yeah it, it will be a huge uh, breakthrough well we can go to the board number five and this is our position, by the way. I saw Matlakov during the game and he was confidently sitting and watching in the playing hall. Yeah. Like, you know, when you look at the chess player, you can feel how he feels about this yeah. game, right? And when I looked at Matlakov, he looked quite confident today. And I think this is a good sign for him because, um, well. Uh, you know, I, I, what I feel here is that, you know, this is what we said night A5. I think now the difference is that you cannot capture the pawn because the knight will end up on f4 and knight b3, a b3 is yeah. going to help white. But so is f5 threatened? I think f5 is threatened here. Yeah. But uh, what to play? Why not? Let's say if uh, black captures. Yeah, knight e f4 knight is what e I'm F4. suggesting. Can I just bring the knight back to e5? No, but now you are allowing the shatter on e6, so you yeah. can't. Yeah. So. Well, but. Uh, I think I th black has to capture. Yeah. Let's say captures and I ha black has to find a move here. Yeah, maybe I think. Just take I think. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Maybe just bishop d7 here. Oh, okay. is there is there any fireworks with knight g6 if he goes bishop d7 mm, possibly we can check it out uh, yeah possibly there is some fireworks there might be a uh, no, b3 is not possible because and if takes let's say knight e7 check knight e7 check king goes to h7 yeah and what is happening here you want to sacrifice another piece or no no no, no. i think it's it's run out of steam yeah no no Why not? let's try let's go okay like can just start with rook f1. Yeah, rook f1 and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think he doesn't even need to do g6, but uh, I think that's an interesting situation that he might now play knight b3 first here. This yeah. is what I'm, I, I suspect he will take on b3, allow a2 into b3, and then and then take on f4, and then knight f4 just now bd7. And now bishop d7, yeah. And now you, you see what, I'm, what, what I feel here, the bishop will come to g7 and then sit on e5, and now he's got the bishop pair, and it's not easy for his opponent, Ratna Whale. And, uh, but, uh, you know. I, I, I still want to go for this kind of a positions, you know? Yeah, you're looking for sacrifices, I yes. I'm looking for uh, exploding the king and bringing all the pieces yeah, on it. Let's yeah, say, yeah. black captures, I want to play knight f6 check. And after king g7, yeah. my next move might be knight h5. Knight maybe. h5 check, yeah. And this then is queen d6, I don't know. At least I have yes. three pawns against the piece. Uh, the king is exploded. There are yeah. so many ideas. The rook so cannot play cannot play, if he cannot play bishop d7, then he will not play e f4. I think what he might do here is just uh, uh, take on b3 and then just, uh, you know, just... Uh, Probably, uh, I, I was thinking Maybe F5, just F5, 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 take on B3 and F5. Yeah, you cannot let white play F5. After yeah, white can. plays F5, then it is a very big advantage. Yeah. So black plays F5, and what happens next? Yeah, I think this is very dynamic, you know, you know, yeah. white, black has the bishop pair and he wants to open up. Yeah, this is this was a good idea to play F5. But what happens if uh, white captures? Yeah, F5, I was thinking just uh, bishop, F5? bishop F5, yeah. And I, I'm I'm the one with the bishop pair. I'm I'm quite happy to, you know, I kind of your knight on d5. Yes. You know, I kind of. So I don't I don't feel comfortable here. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. So take on b3 and f5 is what I think is looks very very persuasive for me. Maybe this is the black's idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. We're going to have some interest. Black will take his time to understand what is happening because white is trying to overtake the advantage, but uh, this might be a critical moment for black. And let's go to the game of Hans Niemann. Let's see what happened here after yeah. rook d8, knight d6, yeah. bishop d6 followed, uh, captures and knight f4, which I, we, we talked about this. Yeah, line. yeah, queen f4, queen f4 and, and now yeah, bishop f3, and then now I think he goes knight e5. And then he's trying to plant his knight on d3. Yeah, 
and bishop e4 and queen e6 was played. Yeah. And d6 might have out of nowhere become a weakness. Yeah, I think I think black is quite comfortable now, isn't it? If bishop f5, queen f6, bishop d5 is queen f6. I was thinking I would be more Let's comfortable. Check it out. Uh, just for our viewers, uh, queen cannot capture the pawn because yeah. it will follow with yeah. bishop f7 and they will lose a piece. I think well, you, you, you need to play queen f6 now for black, isn't it? And then that end game may be very much okay, but... Uh, but then you have queen f6, gf6. And then bishop somewhere. But yeah. Do I have f4? Like, let's say take, take, and f4. But yeah, f4, knight d3. This knight is what D3. I was thinking. Bishop so, okay. c4, bishop, c4, bishop knight c4, knight b2, bishop b3. That's quite good, yeah. No, bishop yeah. c4, knight. Black is fine, no? Yeah, that, that's, that's the problem. But, um, yeah, bishop d5 looks like a good move here. Yeah. So... Bishop d5 looks very interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's show fully what happens here. Bishop c4, knight b2, and now uh, black is attacking two pieces at the same time. Yeah. And rook has to protect the bishop. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, that's right. So this is what is happening. Yeah, this is quite drawish, isn't it? Nobody's yeah. winning this. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Okay. So this is the problem. So c4 pawn is actually not gone. But queen f6... Uh, I, I, li I like White's position. I think there has to be something. My, maybe, my feeling see, is that maybe he, see he has to he has to play queen d4 dominant dominant. But d6 is hanging. Uh, okay, no, queen d6 d4, is so never hanging. No, it, it is it's hanging now. Uh, bishop f7. You have knight, knight f7. f7. Oh, that is very clever. So, but White cannot lose this pawn on d6 because otherwise it's uh, very problematic. So so can he play for queen f6? Can he? Can he can he play because of this knight f7 protecting it and uh, I think he has to play like queen f6, uh, gf6 and rook d4 first. Is there any tricks there or rook d4, rook d6? No, you know queen f6 here now and then Actually, can he uh, yeah. can he take on f6 and play rook d4? That's my point. I can just take rook d6. Oh, you got the. Yeah. The same I'm threatening knight f3 and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, knight no, no, no. He can't. He, he has to yeah. fizzle out to that end game now, isn't it? Is yes. there anything else after, queen after f6, so, so maybe maybe he won't play bishop d5 because no, he played bishop d5. Has he played already? Yes. Oh, okay, yes. queen f6. Queen f6 was not played yet. We don't have a, game, a move in this position yet, but queen f6. Uh, I still like this line. I think there has to be something happening, like takes takes f4 knight d3 and i'm thinking what will happen if i will just play like rook b1 and after rook d6 i play bishop c4 yeah and then i double and I'm, then I'm uh, rook d8 of course yeah i'm quite okay but um i still like white's position here oh. because uh, double pawns uh, bishop against no, no, knight I, yeah i agree to all that but i think that yeah. that uh, you know there will be like something like rook d4, but, well, B3, but, I but then you have b3. It. I can play b3 right now. Yeah. And my next move is going to be rook d2. So you will have to exchange the one of the rooks at some point. Yeah. And um, I want to bring a rook to no, e7. But but it's the not problem with b3 is that, you know, a2 yeah. comes under attack. Yeah. So maybe no, no need to do it maybe quickly. No to, maybe just rook d2. Yeah, just rook d2, yeah. Just rook d2 and, uh, well... If knight c5... Yeah, knight c5 is forced, and then you have to take, and then, and then just give, me, uh, give me the file. Rook yeah. D1. Yeah. No, rook d1. And, and, uh, rook d1. Yeah, I think now rook d4 if is... Rook d2? Is, uh, you want to start with rook d4. Yeah, That's rook smart. d4 first. That's, you know, uh, I want to, you to commit to b3, then yeah. I might mm -hmm. play knight e4 and f5, you see. That's so this, this, this is the point. I, I, I feel that black has something, yeah. but again, it depends how the pawn structure is kept. Well, yeah. Rook d4 was a nice move. Okay, okay. Black has to make a choice. But queen f6, I, I, I still feel like white has to have something because... Rook a b1, white plays rook d2 first. Uh, black cannot... Ah, okay, okay. In that line, the chat is telling us that... Um, let's go through it again. 
so here basically after rook fd instead of rook b1 yeah uh, so after rook d6 white can just play rook d2 and white is on time to bring the rook to d1 okay yeah well thank you even yeah that's a good good point that's isn't it a good it? point yeah we were uh, t doing it very passively rook b1 but there is rook, just rook d2 and rook yeah, b1 yeah rook d2 looks uh, quite good white is winning a piece yeah that's the whole uh, thing is this forced after queen f6 yeah it looks like um, uh, to me it looks like that you know that maybe maybe this is after queen f6, queen f6, gf6, f4, I have to go knight d3. Yeah, if you don't play knight f d3, I will just take on c4. The, yeah, knight d3, uh, knight d3, you're playing rook d2. Uh, no, here, ah, yeah. Yeah, rook right. d2 first. Here, rook d2 first. And you cannot take on d6 because I will take bishop c4. This is the whole Yeah, rook d6, bishop c4. Yeah. You, you are, you're getting, you're getting that. So maybe this, this is going to cause some problems. Yeah. So and that is why maybe, maybe he has here, to, sorry. Maybe 94 here. Yeah, he has that also. It's an interesting position, yeah. Also, I was going to say that he, he could have uh, no need for him to jump into d3. He could go into g4 to come into e3. That also is yeah. a possibility. But here, by the way, I don't need to protect the pawn on d6. I yeah. can just play some move, like uh, maybe when rook d4. Because rook d6 is not hanging there. Yeah, it's anymore. Yeah, it's, you still have the problem. And if c3. Yeah. Well, there's c3. Uh, maybe instead of rook d4, just. Um, now even there is a. Just uh, rook uh, c1. Yeah, this look. This looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it, I was thinking not to go into d3, but go to g4. Okay, let's check it out. So queen f6. Uh, Pawn f6, f4, f4, and knight g4. Knight g4, and, and, and my uh, plan is knight e3 here. Whether you well, take, yeah. if you take on c4, knight e3, you got to go rook d4. Maybe yeah, you will emerge a pawn up there. Oh, okay, that that might be that. Bishop c4, knight e3, rook d4, knight c4, rook c4, rook d6, rook b4. Emerges yeah, a pawn up. So that's not yeah, easy. Because you're not taking the b2 pawn anymore. Yeah. And white will happily go to this uh, to that rook end game. That's my guess. Um, well, queen f6 was not played in the game yet, but bishop d5 is, an, is a very good move. But what else to play? I mean, if you play queen e8, okay, queen f6 was just played, and let's see if they are going to go to this line or no. Yeah, I think because the main problem with, with any of the alternatives yeah. was that... the Any of the alternatives was that, uh, you know, the queen going to e8 is not very good. And he can't sack the queen, can he? Queen d6. Bishop f7, knight f7, rook d6, rook d6. How does that look? Oh, you mean in the previous position? Yeah, now for bishop d5, take queen d6. Uh, and then bishop f7, like bishop f7, knight f7, rook d6, rook d6. But, but again, I think that white is on top here, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, white is definitely on top. Because there's also one extra pawn on the f-file and, you know. Oh, well. So this may be something for white, isn't it? Uh, this looks for now for white as, as much as we checked. Shall we move to the board number seven? So I just want to see, is there anything else before we, we, we declare that queen f6 is forced and this uh, end game? Well, let's see. But this one well, is... Well, he is played. He actually played the line. Queen, queen f6, f6, queen f6, f6, queen f6, six f4. f4. He's, he's yeah. going for this. Yeah, knight d3 is rook d2. Knight d3, rook d2, knight g4 just... Bishop c4 and knight d7 again, just bishop c4. Maybe he blundered this knight d3. Ah, rook d2. Ah, I, I think I think knight g4 now, bishop, bishop c4. c4, knight d3, rook d4, knight f5, and then I'm winning the d6 pawn. That should be drawish, isn't it? Um, I still would go for it because before might be weak f6. Well, uh, let's check it out. So knight g4. Yeah, bishop c4. You got to play, but. Uh, but maybe no no maybe you can just play I don't know what other moves there because his next move is knight e3 yes and uh, yeah so I was saying that bishop c4 knight e3 rook d4 
he goes knight f5. Um, knight e3, rook d4, and then knight f5. And then I believe that is rook d5, knight e3 is a repetition. Okay. So the point is after rook d5, he can't take the pawn because of the doubling will get in. But I play like rook d3. Yeah, now rook d6, and now this should d6. be. Should be quite even, isn't it? I mean, looks so. Looks like, uh, well, I four was played. The black has to make a decision. So we 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 analyze this thoroughly. Is anything else is uh, the you you guys can see there. Apparently please. after knight g four. What about this move? Bishop c six, and then. I just want to push the pawn. Yeah. Knight e three, let's say. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, rook d four. I don't have. But, uh, rook d2. Rook d2. And if c3 yeah. takes, Take. takes, and rook d3. Yeah. And and this should be... Knight f5 and d7. d7 is winning, yeah. That's it. So maybe uh, Hans Niemann has something here. Yeah, so and, Hans and, Niemann uh, okay. has uh, more than so something here, I feel more like. More than something. And yeah. I, I think it didn't, didn't work out, isn't it? I mean... So board number one ended in a draw. We we could confirm that, and then we board are going. Board number two, we have this end game uh, we got happening. This. Uh, bishop d3 was played. Of course, yeah. White is trying to keep the bishop with the rooks. Yeah. Because and why not? I mean, um, still, uh, I I like what. I feel like if there is someone who shall play yeah. in this position, is yeah. White. Yeah. Isn't it now rook? Uh, Rook c1. Rook uh, f c1 and then kd6. I don't like this at all. But uh, what about but bishop, just bishop g6? Yeah, bishop g6. He bishop will go. B2. He will go rook f8 or knight e5. So, but I think rook c1 doubling is looks very nice. Rook c1, king d6. King d6. So it's still, uh, still, still, everything is under play. You know. Yes. So maybe now b4. Am I? Am I? B4. B4. Yeah. E6 has to be played. It has to be played, yeah. Well, white is uh, pressing. Uh, yeah. Knight C2 after rook D4. Ah, apparently there was some line where I blundered. Ah, knight C2. Okay, yeah, yeah. We did uh, knight rook D2 in that line. I, I understand. I got it. And um, this what looks, if, uh, you know, why what would if white <laughs> doesn't touch anything? I'm just want to push like H3. Yeah, this also looks very. You know he's 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 going. Black doesn't have a move. Doesn't have a move. <laughs> doesn't have a move. I mean, black has to go with king d7, king d6 at some point. Yeah, but that's not very ideal, isn't moves. it? White can improve his king to f4, and he can, you know, the h3 also. You you pointed out king h2, king g3 is possible, yeah. and at the opportune moment trade everything, and then maybe. Yeah. Well, I start to like white's position after yeah, this. Okay. I mean. Uh, uh, honestly, it's like uh, well, h6 was played after castle and and uh, rook c1. Looks very. I want to play. I, I don't see a move. So why did he get into this uh, enormous spin? What was? Is there anything? Nothing he could do. After bishop d3, uh, maybe knight e7 was possible, but rook c7 after knight c7. No, he did play king e7. He played uh, king e7. And then bishop, bishop e4. He had to go rook c8. Yeah, definitely. otherwise rook c7 check and takes the pawns. Yeah. And castle and h6, and it's an, an enormous uh, pin, as you mentioned. And uh, yeah, this looks. Well, maybe it's holdable, but uh, it looks. No, very, white, very white's good. got something here yeah. going for him. Even, you know, all this grandmaster are looking for minuscule thing. Yes, yes. And if you look at that Hans Niemann name, white, black was rattling out all the moves, and then yeah. he's found something. Do that. So, you're right. So we go to Narayanan and uh, that. Abdi Salimov. Yeah, that looks like like. Uh, you well, know. Narayanan started. Uh, he until until this moment, uh, he played very fast. We can say it. Yeah. Uh, and then he started taking bishop f8, f6, bishop f4, bishop g7. And Wait, was he trying to repeat the moves? Ah, bishop g5, bishop e7. Yeah. Wow. Uh, bishop f4, bishop g7, h4. I think black is also playing for a win here, isn't it? <laughs> I think both of them are trying are to... Are trying to win. And I, I don't like this e6 weakness. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge uh, weakness in the game. Yeah. 
but at least he's he's put his bishop in a nice square and uh, and I think that uh, you know so what's uh, yeah so he's gone bishop f6 again you know I mean what happens here I like white's position a lot Maybe black is coming out of it, you know, black is going to play bishop c6, c6 on the next move. How can I use this uh, square on e5? That's the whole problem. Now okay. I cannot use it because h4 might be always... Yeah, maybe now... e5 now? No, no, uh, knight e5 is possible, but uh, but also possible is uh, h5 is g5. That's the problem, you know, then... Yeah. h5, uh, why g... Uh, yeah, h5, g5. That was the point. And he can play bishop e5, by the way. He can play bishop e5. And then bishop h4, he can go knight h4, queen h4, and then bishop c7. This has to be something, isn't it? Bishop c6. Yeah, bishop c6, rook uh, e3. I was just thinking uh, f4, f4. Is, f4 is very good. Rook h3. F4. Yeah, this queen looks... Queen g4, f3, kick him out, and then. Well. I, I, I think what I feel is that, you know, uh, w once I stop your attack, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm there okay. Is, uh, f4 here. is going to be hanging now after yeah. g5. There is a move to play queen d2, and f4 is under attack. Yeah. Not easy, is it? No, it's not. It's not so easy to so play. So this is, this is quite interesting is that uh, uh, for bishop e5, maybe black will just uh, play. Maybe, yeah, maybe bishop e5. Again, the clock times is quite... Uh, yeah, you know, but, uh, 48 uh, minutes and... Let's number. say if I don't want to decide uh, what is happening now and I just put the pressure on e6. Bishop yeah, but, c6, right? Yeah, bishop c6, and, yeah. And uh, I want to find something good here. Yeah, but now, once you allow my bishop to c6, I can put the bishop on d5, you see. You don't Is there a chance rook e6 works here? Like, I want to do rook e6. Knight e6. Knight e6 and d5. Yeah. I am not 100% sure, but I still want to try this. Because... So you're down a rook, but... Uh, I'm getting a piece back, and I'm trying... To well, I'm not saying this is right, but this just looks interesting and looks very considered. interesting. Yeah, uh, I don't have any more actually. Uh, queen, queen somewhere, queen, queen d7 probably because. If no, queen d7 is d6. Queen e7. Yeah, maybe maybe go queen e7 directly. But uh, uh, I didn't want queen e7 because after queen e7. Uh, after I take on c6, you cannot take pin. queen c6. You there's a heavy pin a for four. And then rookie one. Yeah, for so many things. So maybe that's what he's thinking. Yeah, this is an interesting line. Yeah. So maybe bishop c4, he should play, he should play c6, just simply say, I accept the weakness and, you know. Yes. So that's quite interesting and... Um, if we go back to Hans Niemann, has he made any progress? Uh, well, f4, knight g4 was played, and now Hans Niemann is thinking. Yeah, I think I think with bishop c6 here, there is this uh, bishop c6. There's nothing much there, you see. And knight e3, you got that other thing. Yeah. Uh, this looks very, very good after bishop c6. Bishop c6, and I mean, you just keep this uh, passed pawn on d6, and then push it on d7, that no one can stop it. And I mean, and then you play. Yeah. W what's going to happen? What, what can go wrong, right? So what we're saying now is that bishop c6, and then knight e3, you're saying something. I'm saying rook d2. Rook d2, yeah, and then rook because c8. Because rook d4 is impossible. So rook c8, c8, now rook c8. Now rook c8, I would play d7. Yeah, rook, rook into c6. Okay, you're going isn't this, to give up this, this exchange? Yeah, is it, I've given up exchange, but yeah. what I feel that it's I have some c3 trump card. I don't even have to Yeah, go yeah you have to go bishop a4. But now rook fd8, uh, c3 is very strong, sorry, c3 is very strong. C3. C3 okay, c3, c3, I capture. Capture. 
and then the rook has to go to d3. Oh, there's knight c4 after rook d3. I can play rook d4. Yeah, and then now I, I, I believe rook of d8 and uh, yeah, d8? it's okay. d7? Okay. d7, I think uh, rook c4. Well, rook c4, I capture. Oh, uh, then you oh, knight capture. Rook c1. One knight b6. Knight b6. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. I'm not. Maybe I'm in on time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on time. Because if knight d7, rook d3. Yeah. So I can still play king f8, king e7 and take it, isn't it? Um, Your bishop's under attack first now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe but let me see. Bishop b5. Bishop b5, e yeah, king e7. What if I give a check? Yeah, king d6, maybe. King d6, and I want and to then play rook e8, yeah. king c7, and uh, yeah, maybe just rook e7. Yeah, you got rook e7. Yeah. You, you, get, you, you get in nicely. It has to work out. I feel like after knight g4, white has to have a big advantage. Yeah. Somehow. That has to be something. This is uh, one of the type but of I, I, I think that bishop c6, knight e3, uh, and uh, after rook d2, I think rook c8, I think maybe maybe I was very ambitious with c3. I was. Can we just check this line? Uh, I think uh, even if I bishop would like c6, just knight, to go for this line, rook like d3, uh, d7, rook c8. You yeah. queen, I mean, takes, Take, takes, takes and then king an g7. Extra. I mean, I just have an extra exchange and... Uh, King f2 and then... Uh, and then it's an extra exchange. Uh, so I believe that... Yeah, exchange up, a, but the pawns will fall, yeah. Maybe, maybe like can uh, fight a little bit, but it's... Yeah, knight g4 check is there especially, yeah. but... Uh, okay, knight g4. Check. Knight is the king g2. Yeah. If knight e3, now I bring the king to f3. Yeah. Well, this so one, again, this, this is not possible. This, this is not possible. Yeah. White to play. We still believe. Uh, okay, bishop c4 didn't work. Uh, so moving a bishop, trying to protect the pawn and pushing on d7 looks very logical. Yeah. And bishop c6, maybe, maybe he will go rook b8 first. You know, something like that. Uh, and, and then. I don't believe in this. Uh, Somehow I don't believe in this. Uh, maybe d7 just. Yeah, d7, and then. Uh, the knight e3. No, uh, no, d7, yeah. even rook of d8, I was thinking. Yeah. Because I'm trying to overcrowd your bishop well, on it. Uh, yeah, that also is looks very, very nice, yeah. If knight e3, I'll just go for No, I, I, I won't play knight e3, I'll play rook b6 first. Okay, rook b6. Can I just take? Ah, rook e, knight e3. Oh. Okay, so this looks... Well, uh, this, uh, Hans Niemann has a lot of stuff to calculate here. I still yeah. believe that bishop c6 is a good move. Okay, so... And let's see how he's going to play here. Let's go to the next game where... Um, uh, so the gambit game is still equal, in our opinion. And the second board? Yeah, this looks, uh, uh, this looks yeah, enormous. Think, uh, we have some, yeah, rook c2 was played. Played, yeah. I think he still can't get out of the pin. Yeah, That's the point. Uh, you know. Maybe somewhere he just wants to play like rook f2, rook f7... Yeah. Uh, grab a pawn, um, maybe two. Uh, well, this looks interesting. It's equal, has to be equal, but uh, practically white has more chances. White has here. absolutely more chances, agreed. And uh, the second board, C5, third board. This game is going really slow, you know. It's. Uh so, what, what are we saying here was in this position? We didn't check this position, I think. Yeah. Uh, can we run through the opening just to see how we got here? This was the... Yeah, it was the queens. Uh, this one. Yeah, this knight one. E3. E3, queen D2, and then knight C3, and then bishop E2, E5. Knight H4 was played, bishop, yeah, bishop D7. D7 was played uh, uh, he didn't F4. repeat, he played F4. Yeah. Takes, takes, and uh, C5 was played. And, uh, yeah, I think, think D5 is some knight D5 is there. But but no, maybe not. Yeah, but it's some fighting chess. Uh, we want to see this fighting yeah. chess on the chess board. Yeah, so maybe rook a one is also really good. You know, c d four, queen d four is good for. Hmm, looks interesting. Yeah. White pieces are getting ahead, and the, look at the time. There's forty and thirty two. So both of them have been spending loads of time. Yeah. Well, c5. Yeah, I, I would say rook a1. This is my... This looks uh, very logical, right? Bring the last piece into the game. And what happens later, like knight c6? Yeah, knight c6 maybe... Uh, 
Bishop. I don't know, Bishop, Bishop F3 followed by, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, but, but also what's the problem with D5? So Knight D5 is not possible, so uh, now can we go back a little bit? Move, sorry, one more move back. Instead of okay, one, now D5, don't allow the Knight to come to C6. Yeah. And this, we can uh, show the view was that Knight D5, Knight D5, Queen H4, Knight C7. And we are trapping the rook in the corner of the chessboard. Also, the six pawn is hanging. So there yeah, are so many so things happening a, for white. Yeah. Well, uh, shall we go to the to other game to see yes, what's yes. happening? Uh, Anton Guhero after Bishop C5, Knight E8 was played. Bishop D4. Yeah, this is just like uh, you know, you win a move, you force the knight yeah, to go. Yeah, this is your idea, you, right? Knight e8. Let's and, play and then you d4. actually, if you put the bishop on d4, yeah. you will not play knight e8. Now, rook b8. Was rook played. b8 is played, and rook, uh, rook h f1. Bishop, bishop b6. Course, finally, he has to do this, otherwise the pressure yeah. was getting very enormous. Bishop, bishop b6, f6, queen g4. And e5 and d5. Yeah. But now black wants to play c5. Yeah. Just so was was e5, uh, you know? Uh, yeah, maybe e5 was, uh, but uh, c5 wants to be played, and what to do? Yeah, there's not much, you know, I mean. Yeah, I think, so e5, he played e5, because he didn't want the knight to come back to f6. e5, d5, and we can say that the knight on c3 is not coming into play, isn't it? So... After e5, d5, black is threatening c5, which is... Uh, c5 looks very dangerous uh, for, uh, yeah. for white. C5 is coming now, you know, I mean... And what shall white do here? I think b4 will be right. Create something on the f-file, maybe... Takes? May maybe... Takes and rook f1. Yeah, maybe that... Like c5, and I want to play queen f3 Queen f3, or f3 yeah, looks, looks very Let's nice, queen, queen f Four. Yeah. Yeah. No. This is this. Yeah. Can. This. Uh, but knight c seven. Yeah. I believe queen f seven check and then. You know this. Okay. <laughs> what is what is going on? Yeah. No. This is. Uh, Maybe maybe it's too early to exchange all this and go yeah, into this yeah, line, yeah. but I think he maybe he can play. Uh, I was played. Maybe he can play. Um, uh, yeah, I think rook f8 check and bishop f8 check. This is definitely in my card. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, or, or and then maybe just play bishop e3 back. Yeah, but still c5. Yeah, this is. Maybe again you will have to play rook f1, d4, queen somewhere, but it's going to be the same position, just... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, this is very, very, yeah. very, uh, very problematic. So, c5 is coming now, so he's thinking. He has to create something on the f5, otherwise c5, d4 and uh, black... Oh, I, I have a plan here, why not go bishop a7 first. Rook b7? Yeah, bishop a7, make him play rook b7. And then now come back to e3. Okay, what's the idea? And oh, now you want oh, to exchange? Oh, I don't like the rook on b7 now. So Yeah, it's uh, every time queen f7. Yeah, so maybe just co coolly play bishop e3. No, but let's check. Captures, captures, rook f1. This is winning for white. Yeah, but... But... But I think he had rook f7, isn't it? I mean... But... Maybe yeah, I don't maybe, need to play bishop a7, a7, you see. Yeah. Maybe I don't need to play bishop a7. Maybe I should just play bishop e3 straight away there. Uh, after d5. Yeah, I, I prefer the rook on bishop e3 now. c5. I'm, I'm thinking that um, rook f8, uh, bishop f8. And he's got this knight c7. Uh, I like Black's position. <laughs> Queen B7, maybe somewhere, not now, because E6 will be hanging. And um, yeah, there's nothing, nothing there. So well, 
I don't know, here I'm still thinking, which game shall we go to? Second board, let's see if something happened there. So rook c2, g5 was played. Yeah, with the idea of not letting that bishop g6. But I think he got himself into a real issue here with his knight being horribly pinned, you know, and maybe there's something out of it. And Xiu Xianju is still trying to create something with on this. Yeah, he, he wants to win, and yeah. if he wins, he ties for the first places. Of course, of course. He, so that, he that, catches that, up that's the important leader. for him. So, you know, but he's got the most ideal position. Black can't do anything, but he can do it. But how is he going to get out of this one? Yeah. Oh, I see the point that maybe there is the move is king d7. If the rook shift king d7 and knight e7. H3 was played. White is not in a hurry. White is just trying to do a few moves. To say how black is going to set up the pieces he wants to say you don't have moves at some point you will run out of the moves yeah and, and you will have to play king d7 king d6 uh, king d7 king yeah d6. i think i think also now white has a clear plan of going king h2 king g3 yeah black will and, stop it and h5 is impossible bishop g6 see black has to create that knight a7 to get out he has mm -hmm. to play a6 here and then the double and then the king d7. Can we show that to the uh, One viewer? more time, king h2? No, no. First is it's black to play. He played h3. So a6 okay. to prepare knight a7. Rook c1. So you have to double and now king d7. Okay. No, no, king d7. Uh, I like king d7 so that I have the option of knight e7 if I need to. Okay. And I feel that this is the way he can get out of things now. Mm. I see, I see what you mean. Um, Oh, maybe there's now rook d2 check. King e7. King e7 and then the double he's got knight e5. Yeah, no, no, no. Black can't knight get out of this one, the... thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. Well, otherwise white, uh, white's game is very easy. Which is yeah, the, w once push, you allow yeah. the white king to g3, the mass exchange might help him, you see. Yes. So, you know, we used to do some calculation here. How many moves, you know, viewers, you can see if every piece is removed from the board and the white king is on g3, yeah. Then you count king, king g4, king h5, take, take, and then you want this many moves. Black has to go on after b2, so this is quite. Mm -hmm. mm. So black has a solution to get out of it. Well, so. Is there anything happening in the boards behind? I think we need to check. Uh, there was interesting, was Pranav's. It was. Uh, Pranav's game was quite interesting, wasn't it? Pranav was against uh, Asawaiva? Yeah. Yeah, here. Okay, this is our current position. Wow. So when we stopped, position. we stopped at uh, uh, at uh, d6, h3, yeah, and then this happened. happened. And then, yeah, we said the knight will be on okay. e5. But I don't know why he went for this favorable trade and, you know, now problem. white is uh, looking a bit better now, isn't it? A little, you think. Be because, I, you know, I, I, my idea was to put the knight on e5, but then there is c5 was coming. So this looks now not really good for... I want queen d4, I want bishop b4, <laughs> something else, you know. It's Moves like just flow, isn't it? Queen yeah, d4 is very good, obviously. I, I feel like... Maybe white so why, is even so winning. So what went wrong in this game? You know, I mean, yeah, what the, went the, wrong? That bishop c4 boom I didn't like, but 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 well, after taking uh, bishop f4, queen c7. Queen c7 first of all. What did he play? Back. Bishop c2 he played. Maybe he has to start with queen. Yeah, bishop c2. Knight e5. Okay. Yeah, bishop okay, c2 knight e5. What what was wrong with knight e5 here? C5? No, not yet. No, everything is okay. Yeah, I even got f6. You know. That C5, move, bishop yes, c4 C5. takes the risk. Now c5 I take. Okay, queen h5. Yeah, I got f6. You don't oh, I can't, I don't have f6, that's the problem. Yeah. Well, knight e5 doesn't work. Yeah. But, but after I bishop c4, bishop d6, white is just, uh, well, rook f2, uh, just in yeah, case. The king is stuck in the middle. The king is stuck in the middle, and this is a very good example. What? Uh, I feel like we're going to see a very beautiful game today. And yeah. This is going to be a very good example of what happens to your king. What, what does the win castle. give the white player? Is he moving ahead? How many points has he got? Uh, four and a half. Four, four and a half, so he will go to five and a half. It's and uh, she. It's Bibisara. Asaubaiva Bibisara. And uh, 
Let's see what she's doing, by the way. She is going for probably a man grandmaster title. Uh, she's plus 10 and she her performance is not I don't know if she has all the all the other norms all the norms or no okay so the chat is saying that if she wins this game before the last round she will secure herself a GM norm well this is a very important game for her yeah though. very important game yeah. and I think uh, the position plays for for itself, isn't it? The position is uh, already played, finished. <laughs> Not finished Looks yet. Looks very, very, very finished. tricky for for why, for black. You know what? That yeah. bishop on d6 is like a huge one. You know, I mean. No, this is a huge advantage for white. It's not. It's probably winning. Yeah. With, with this king in the center, queen d4 coming. Uh, I don't believe black has a way. Is, out is black going to uh, grab the c3 pawn? Is that what it is? Queen c3 is what he was thinking. Queen C3. Yeah, what, 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 so is this what C3. he was working on this assumption or? I don't know. Uh, he still uh, he didn't do a move yet. What if I just play Bishop A4 here? Yeah, that's looks Bishop B5 was my Bishop plan. Bishop B5 and uh, maybe just Rook C1. Yeah, Rook C1 and then now uh, haven't got many squares for my queen, have I? Even <laughs> without this, I think I might just ah okay. I cannot queen think. hasn't got many squares. Okay. I want I want to somehow throw my queen to No, this, no, the move you played is extremely good yeah. because now I got to go queen a5 is my only move. Okay, so Bibisara has to win this game and draw the last round to get a GM norm. Yeah. And uh, she is half away there, we can say. By the way, queen c3 was played. It was played. It was played, queen c3. Yeah. So I think, I think that even... Uh, so, you know, the problem, what is the problem for black? Uh, shall we say that the king is stuck, his rooks are not coordinating, but at the moment his king seems to be surviving because there's no, not anything open file deciding yeah. the game. And um, White has almost 30 minutes more, her position is... Yeah, and black has got uh, less time. She just needs to find a few moves and I think it's going to be a game over very soon. Yeah. A few moves and that's it. No, I think even even I, uh, what I felt was that the variation that we analyzed, that bishop a4, bishop b5, rook c1, queen a5, uh, rook c1, queen a5, bishop b3, and now f7 is hanging, and then now the problem starts. You see? Yeah, already it's. Uh, this this is this is I think he doesn't it's a, want. It's a fantastic game. I mean, uh, black uh, did the mistake. So this, Probably queen c7 was yeah, a mistake. Yeah, she's really played a nice game and, you know, against a grandmaster. Yeah, I mean, she can, uh, we can even say she uh, beat the grandmaster in the opening because Pranav just didn't go out from the opening. I no, mean, no, no, no. Uh, His choices were... Yeah. Okay, so this is quite interesting. Yes, we it's, will it's, come back it's to very, this. very nicely. Let's try to find some other games. Uh, yeah. Well, this one... Here we have equal uh, Rakesh Kumar. Rook B3 was played. Okay. I shall just check some uh, something crazy happening. If you'll see something crazy, just let me know. Yeah, we were looking at that game, weren't we, with the Chinese player there. Uh, I think now this, this looks one. more like a drawn game, isn't it? No, we're not checking this one, I think. No, I uh, haven't seen this one yet. Yeah. This is a uh, drawish. Shall we go back to that Gambit game? We yeah, we, sure. we checked that Gambit game now, That's just now. Second and that, board, right? The gam Gambit game, and we said H3. that black has got away. A6, king h2, yeah. a7, yeah. and rook f2. Yeah, your idea was right. A six nine a seven. Yeah, to go but out, but but, but uh, now there is a problem because rook f seven check is coming, and I think maybe it's going back back in in that direction. Maybe mm -hmm. you know, how how does he stop? How does he stop uh, rook f seven check? And White will definitely put a lot of pressure in this game because yeah. this is a very important game for the for Xianju because in case of winning. He's just catching up the leader. Yeah. And uh, I, I, you never know what can happen tomorrow if he wins. Yeah. Uh, everything I, is I feel that black has to play knight b5 here. 
Rook F7. Rook F7, King D6. Maybe another check. Okay, I don't want to let this king come to E5. So, but but Knight B5, I'm threatening Knight D6, and then it's a draw. So you have to go Rook F7 check. King D6, and maybe go after the H pawn. Go after the H pawn. Yeah, this this looks very nice for. I would uh, play with the white pieces. Yeah, white white is clearly much better. And He's not going to let this go. Just just to let it. Go. I think now King E5 will be played. Uh, yeah, this this is what I'm envisaging. Uh, something nice. And and then you have to find a good place for your square. Even Bishop D3 is quite good. Yeah. Uh, but what's next? I mean, okay. Uh, yeah, it looks. Let's uh, say knight d6. Knight d6. Rook f2. Uh, knight d6. Uh, yeah, rook f2. Defend it. Can I play knight f5 here? I still want to yeah, protect the h6. Yeah, this looks okay. Yeah. <laughs> I I cannot say. It's it's very hard to say. Maybe it's drawish, but uh, I'm sure white will put as much. Yeah, white as is possible. white is pushing for a yeah. win here. So what's happened to the Hans Niemann game? That was oh, interesting. Oh yeah, let's go. Knight so G4. Any of the viewers are suggesting anything else? Uh, are we getting? Uh, but uh, Sharmayush looks interesting. Give a praise, not immediately. Okay, we'll check it now. Let's just check what happened here. Bishop C6 was played. Knight yeah. E3 and Rook D2. We have this line. Uh, and I offered to go Ivan's uh, offer to check the game between this one. Okay, the king is open. So this is the game suggested by the viewer to yes. have a look. Let's start from the beginning to see what Okay, yeah, let's here. run through that because, you know, yeah. so this is like some Queen's Indian with, mm -hmm. you know, basics. Yeah. C5, E4, Knight F6, yeah. Knight C3. And then Knight C3 and then, yeah, Knight D4, Bishop C5. Castle. Yeah, all these openings giving up the bishop pair, you know, it looks... Maybe it's all fine because they have analyzed it to the thing and then and then bishop d6 has been played and then rook d8. Uh, I, I feel that, you know, white is uh, delaying the development here in a very much way. And finally he gets his e5 to anchor his bishop and now b4 chasing that knight. Queen G5. Five. I don't know what is happening, to be honest. See, with. I'll tell you what is the problem here is that if you play Queen B3, Queen E3, check and Queen into C3. Nice. Or even Rook into C3. Nice. So so he has to stop so white, this. White, Blight, King F2. Uh, yeah. And Bishop F3. Bishop F3. Nice. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Text uh, and maybe sh they are going for a draw. Yeah. Maybe. Is there so something So is King F3 was a problem? What King F3 was definitely a problem because of... I think it has to be a check. Queen of four. Right? Queen of four, four. King, King E2. two. Knight D4. King D3. I don't believe this king running away. Let's check it out. Uh, Knight D4. King yeah, D3. Yeah, King D3, yeah. Is there a move here? Has to be. It's <laughs> like, uh, I don't believe this king is not going to be. Yeah, yeah this king is, is, is looking very precarious. <laughs> If I think even even uh, knight c6 here is extremely strong, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Knight c6 is extremely strong. I don't know. I don't know. I don't believe this uh, king going out. It's uh, uh, what about okay? So f5. I was thinking maybe. Queen f5, king d4. King d4, take take e5, but I cannot give up a lot of pieces and in the end. Yeah, it looks very interesting. Knight d4 is the way to win the game. They say. Ah, uh, maybe, wait, where, where knight d4? Yeah, in this position, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is, king is surviving by just some... <laughs> but how to give a checkmate? That's, that's the question. Maybe the chat uh, can help us in this position to yeah, find the checkmate. Because yeah, yeah. uh, we're see, pretty I, I, sure there is something. See, my, my, my suggestion to the viewers is that get the queen to h4 and then knight f4 check. Yeah, maybe. And the king takes d4, then knight e2 discovered check, taking on c3. That should be the mm -hmm. way. But mm -hmm. 
But uh, Queen H4 G3, there is Knight takes G3. Can I just play F6 here? A lot of lot of complications here. I think I can here. even play F6. But I, I I don't think yeah you can even play simple chess now. Now yeah. the, the F6 I want to take on E5, attack the bishop. Yeah yeah well, yeah. Okay. You can play. So G takes on F3. And then Queen H4 check. Queen H4 check and King A G1. And now it is black. Now I think I think here what black is saying is that Queen G5 check. There is no Bishop G2 because queen e3 check is coming so and then capturing the c3 knight and yeah this is the problem that the what happens after strong. queen g5 king f2 king are you going to repeat the position or black will try to do something because this knight is trapped right now yeah the knight is trapped which is a very important factor here so maybe black yeah. just needs to Ayush, let me check the rating of Sharma, because, yeah, well, her rating is uh, 23.21, yeah. So, so this is very that. complicated, and, uh, and, and most like knight f4, king, queen takes b3. And the bishop is very well uh, standing Queen h4 check, and then, yeah. Yeah, so this is left at an interesting thing. And uh, should we just do a quick review and take a break and sure. come back? Sure. So uh, basically we have this position, not this one. This was our analysis. Knight c6 happened in the uh, game and knight c6 was yeah. played. Uh, we're going to see probably rook f7, rook h7 if white still wants to push in the game. And on the board number three, uh, what happened is that c5, uh, white played bishop f3, letting black to play knight c6. Rook fe1 and queen d8 was played in the game. Yeah. This is the position uh, which looks a little bit... Uh, white looks a little bit better, right? Yeah. Okay, bishop f3 followed, bishop f3 and... Uh, yeah. So uh, on the board number four, we have this game after knight b3. Yeah, black played knight b3 takes an f5 as you yeah, predicted. Which is, we predicted that, yeah. Yes, and uh, probably this is the only way to play with the black pieces. Queen yeah. h4, knight f5, rook f5, queen e1. Yeah, I think this is, uh, you know, the queen e1, the idea may be that f5 he can play and get, get rid of that. And, uh, and, 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 and one of the tactics that, that you might think you might win a pawn, but there is the knight e7 fork is there. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, uh, again, coming up nicely. Yeah. And uh, in the game of... Um, uh, okay, this is the Hans Niemann. In Hans Niemann's game, rook d2 was the last move. And, and black we have is to thinking. check the board also, number eight. Um, which, uh, because the players have five points, looks pretty equal, right? Yeah. And board number nine, also they have nine points, if I'm not mistaken. Five points has the uh, Atahan, and, yeah. well, this is also, why has an advantage? Well, I think we're going to be back after the break on the most... Uh, Exciting Criti moments of the game. Yeah, and, uh, critical moment, you know, time pressure looming. Time pressure. Don't go away anywhere, guys. Yeah, see you soon. Don't go anywhere. The games are just getting more and more interesting. Yeah, yet. and thank you for your suggestions. Uh, you know, we are, we, we are quite happy to get your feedback and then we'll work on that. Yes, thank you even for uh, helping us. See you soon. Don't go anywhere. This is the pre-last game of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival and everything will be decided today and tomorrow. Yep. Who's going to be the winner of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival 2023? See you, everyone. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back everyone and we are following to follow the eighth round of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival and a lot of interesting things happened while we were on the break and first of all we can start from a game of Asao Baeva yeah. against Pranav. Uh, this game we were checking and after Queen C3 it followed Rook C1. Yeah, I, I thought Pranav just left, maybe it's the game over or? Yeah, yeah, it's over. Uh, oh. Asabaeva already won her game. Wow, very nice. Yes. So Queen E3, Bishop A4 was played, Bishop yeah. E6, yeah. Rook C6. Yeah, this is just, you know, nothing is working for him. Yeah, you know, exactly. he's not going to get... And having given up this pawn, C6 pawn so quickly, yes. it's, uh, you know, what 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 is he expecting? You know, I mean, just... Rook D8, Bishop C5 was played, Queen G5, Queen D6. Six, yeah. This is Queen e6 is coming and uh, bishop h3. So can, can we show the viewers what happens if uh, knight c5 is played? I think it's uh, some discovered check, isn't it? Um, from somewhere, yes. We just yeah, need to uh, see from where. No, even rook c5 discovered rook check c5 is quite nice. Yeah. The queen, yeah. And, the, and, and uh, the queen is gone. So bishop h3 was played and it followed by uh, rook c7 h5 and rook d2 and black yeah. resigned here yeah and uh congratulations to bibi sara because this was a beautiful game and yeah. uh, she has a good chances for getting her last gm norm and uh yeah why not so she's and got already two gm norms two gm norms she okay. has and she's gonna get her third oh, one. okay Th this is like she a game you can publish and show yeah you know what why did black uh, play why the way won't. he played and you know and uh, so what is the threat here? I'm just trying to understand. If I go rook h6, you just go bd7, isn't it? And then no, again. rook h6, I'll just play queen f8. Yeah, queen, uh, <laughs> queen f8 also is there. Okay, yeah. oh my god. There's, nothing is working. I, how does a grandmaster of... He's about 2600, correct? He's uh, 2588, yes. Yeah, but how does he fall into something like this? You know, even the other day yeah. against Arvind Chidambaram, you yes. know, it was a quick collapse and... Uh, and uh, so, it, it, will she emerge as the best uh, lady player in the tournament? Is that I think so. I think, I think she so. has to be, yeah. And she which country is she from? She's from Kazakhstan. Wow, lovely, lovely, lovely game. Yes, and, you know. yes, of course. I remember her since she was a kid and actually, uh, I, I know that she didn't even have a phone until she was like 15, 16. Okay. She was only reading books, gymnastics, and yeah. chess, chess, chess. Yeah. And the result is here. I mean, uh, it's incredible, to come and it? win against the 258800 uh, rated player uh, yeah. from the opening and in 25 moves. This is incredible. This is very beautiful. And uh, yeah. I'm very happy to see her. Uh, you know, succeeding in her chess career. Yeah, and, and also what, what I can say is that the decision making in this game does not go for black. You know, whatever he was aiming for yes. or planning did not work. You know, white white's moves were so natural to get the pieces yeah. into that. All the moves were natural. Yeah. And uh, she started, she finished, uh, you know, she took her time. Okay, that's and really yeah. well played game. Well done. Very well played game. And this is a good example what happens to your king when it just stands in the center and yeah. doesn't castle. So I think uh, the young uh, chess players can watch this game. And Yeah, uh, this is a game has so much lessons, you know, yes. what happens when you allow a monster bishop yeah. on d6. And we have a draw on the board number 10, where uh, Urazayev was playing against Sindarov. It was yeah, I saw I saw this game after Queen B6. I, I think this is just dead yeah. equal. There's nothing, yeah, just, uh, nothing, nothing to do left here. in this game. Uh, and I checked the uh, board number two, as you said, the Gambit game. Yeah. So in the Gambit game, uh, some interesting stuff happened. And uh, so basically here, white went for this line. Rook F7, King D6, Rook H7, King G5. Yeah. Bishop F3. Yeah. Rook B2. Yeah. But uh, okay, yeah, rook h6, knight e7, and this is the position. And uh, yes, I mean, well, uh, it looks it looks okay for black now, isn't it? I mean, fast pawn is there, yeah. right? But There's uh, no rook h5. But I agree that uh, white is putting more pressure. What happens after just rook a1? One, yeah, rook a1. I think. Uh, I want to give even a check, maybe somewhere. Yeah. Maybe rook a4, rook e4. I don't know. I think there are quite some things. I think what Black is hoping is he will put the knight on f5. If you go rook a1, he will play knight f5. 
and uh, then he's hitting e3. I don't know about that, but but this looks like Black has reorganized his defense, and yeah. you know he's okay. And uh, time-wise, also White is the one under pressure, trying to prove something. And I think that uh, uh, I think that I, I I kind of sense this this is has to it's heading towards a drop possibly. Yeah. So the Hans Niemann game, everything happened as we said. But nothing changed uh, uh, there. I, I just checked, but let's check again if something changed. Yeah, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's, he's gone changed. into this end game whereby, you know. Let's check it again. Yeah, so after. Bishop c6, knight e3, rook d2. Yeah, yeah. Black played the rook, rook b8. Rook b8, which is, we yeah. said was, was that. And now he played rook d8, rook e1, and now c3 because he wants to get the knight to c4, uh, take. Uh, exactly. Okay, the, the, yeah, he can't do that. And now. Knight f5 was played. Yeah, knight f5 was played, uh, Just, allowing uh, rook into c3, c3 and then knight d4. Bishop a4, Four. and uh, I think it's uh, winning. Yeah, this is looks this very, very winning. Yeah. King g7. At least yeah. the knight is on d4, you see. That's what knight he's, he's hoping. Knight f5, knight f8, and rook c7. This has yeah, to be this a, looks... Um, no, this, this has doesn't, to finish soon. Doesn't look game. anything. Rook e8 yeah. is coming. Rook e8 is the next move, and uh, exchanging one rooks, and then rook c8, yeah. and it's going to be... Okay, he won. We're right. Uh, Hans Niemann, Black resigned in this position. Okay. Okay, so, so Hans Niemann so now has uh, six points. And, uh, yeah. well, everything will depend from tomorrow's I game. Think, if I think this, this game is also uh, shows, in my opinion, you, your opening theory is fantastic. Yeah. You got into this position and then just one little finesse and things did not go your yeah. way. And then uh, you sit and try to understand what is actually happening. And your opponent was making decisions from beginning so he already knows what is happening and uh, yeah i think i think this is a uh, an another game where i would say that white just kept his cool and uh, you know white just played sensible moves yes. you know which we were predicting here so yes, but uh, hans Niemann started winning the last few games yeah. right let's check again he's recovering his uh, positions uh, yes uh, so this is his third win in a row after he lost against chinese grandmaster lidi yeah this is already his so third i think he will he will apply all the pressure if he's paired with the top person oh from other other games okay so, so let's see if we go to that ratnavel game i think something interesting happened there ratnavel ratnavel is playing white against maxim ah yes right that's the game yes, where yes, yes, whereby so that right. you know Let's check what happened here. So, yeah, uh, yeah after f5, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Takes, takes, knight g3. g3. Queen, queen h4. Four. Yeah, take, queen e1, chop, chop, and then rook e8, and now b4 with the idea of c4. Yeah. And now e4 is played, and now c4, c4 and the knight is anchored here. At h4. And, and the point is that, that you know, uh, how does white how does black defend that uh, pawn on e4 what, what's stopping me from playing rook e3 uh, g5 rook e3 uh, g5 and then double the rook i will take on f4 uh, with, yeah, with the chip and then e4. i will take on e4 it looks okay for me yeah and even b5 doesn't work yeah uh, also uh, the other thing i'm thinking here is that i can play knight e3 and then the rook has to go to f7, and then knight g4, another tempo. Whether that means something, I don't, I don't can know. Can I just take? Oh, you can take, sorry. Yeah. Okay, there's, there's nothing. So I have to go, I have to now uh, work on this pawn. Okay, black is threatening b5. That's the interesting yeah, part. Yeah, b5, uh, b3. b5, b5, b3. Is, is, you know the, so that that is, that that, that is sorted. So, so what is he thinking? Um, well, h4 was played. Uh, white is trying to find some ways to attack. If yeah, I think white can just play b3 here, and you know that that it's everything is okay. Just b3, yeah, yeah. cool move. The problem is that he doesn't have a lot of time, but it, it looks drawish, no? Yeah, it's, it's quite drawish now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Shall we go to the board number uh, four? Yeah. Yeah, this game was very interesting. Yeah. So d5. Yeah. White played here, knight a4. Four. Black played c5, yeah. knight c5, and white sacrificed the piece. Yeah. 
And then I saw this position and white was thinking and uh, it's been a long time he was thinking. Queen a6 was played. Rook f1, rook f1, h6, queen e6. And this is the position that we have right now. And uh, white decided not to go for this rook f8, trying to create some stuff on the f-file. Yeah. He just went for the line where he's sacrificing a piece for taking three pawns for it, which are uh, important pawns, by the way, we can say c5, e6, and a6. So what is black's play here? The rook is stuck on the back rank, protecting the knight. If the knight leaves uh, the one, that there, there may be some tactics on f7 square. And uh, I think that, you know, black needs to consolidate here and, uh, and, uh, and, and, you know, I mean, white's, white, white would, I, I guess, will start by playing g4, g5 as well, you know, if, if things oh. stand at a standstill. And uh, I think that queen b6 is rook f8 check and queen f5 this. check, that's leading to a mate, we can show that. Queen b6 is uh, that would be an instant finish. I think it's easier just to take take rook f8 because here, king h7. Yeah. It's not a checkmate yet. Yeah, it's not checkmate. So maybe maybe now. Uh, queen b6 doesn't work. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, g6 and then uh, yeah, it doesn't work now. Oh no, no, it's a checkmate. Real right. No, no, knight g7. Yeah, queen g8. All right. You're right. Yeah, this is like queen yes, entering yes, from. Yes different dimension yes, to yes, do yes. the checkmate. You're right. Queen e6 and, uh, yeah. well, maybe practically white made a very, very good decision. To yeah, I think up the I, 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 I feel that what, what, how can black untangle, you know? So the first way, let's say if he plays knight c7, yes. okay, which is the main move. And then there is probably queen d7 with the threat of rook f7. And the e pawn becomes very dangerous as well. So black is not getting like any kind of position where his pieces are secure right so i feel that white has something here and uh, white has some practical chances to win in this uh, position yeah. and uh, for black uh, okay black also I, I feel like the results are very very possible in this game yep let's go to something else that you think uh, ratan will be checked and um, Let's check Narayanan's game because also here. Yeah, that's the that. that's the one which we said uh, bishop e5, but yeah. but he and did play uh, h5 he did h5 first. H5 captures and d5, so he gave all the pawns. Yeah, captured one, and this is our position. Like nothing uh, changed much, but uh, but okay, isn't but isn't is isn't uh, uh, black doing reasonably okay now here? What I mean, he looks like he's lost his. Advantages here, isn't it? So bishop g7. Two pawns might be weak, but how many pawns is black up? Two. Two pawns up, but is okay, one is up, doubled, like but uh, it's doubled and the king but, is weak. But the point so is that you have point. nothing left. That after bishop g7, king g7, maybe he's going rook e5. I think, maybe he's thinking here. Yeah. And, and this first time I need to say I've always seen him play very positional chess and now here he's taking lots of risk. Again, I think the the, the situation of the tournament is forcing okay. him to do that. And he has to because he has yeah, to and bishop I, I, g7. I, I, of yeah, bishop g7 and uh, you can't play queen g7 because still rook e5 is pretty strong winning the center pawn and then you might have the initiative. And after king g7, can I just play like queen c5? There's knight e6. Well, maybe king g7. No, king g7, maybe, maybe just knight d4. Knight d4 is quite good. Yeah, queen c3 uh, check I want equally to play queen good. queen c3 and then bring the knight into the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's say king g8 and, uh, well, has to be something. Queen f6, maybe queen f6. Queen f6 with the threat of a rook e7, but yeah. the rook e8. Yeah. Yeah, this is the this is the issue with it, isn't yeah. it? But you got well, black took with the queen yeah. while we're trying to understand what ha what will happen if the king yeah, captures. I, I the think rook e five. He, he's going to play knight g six. I think. Yeah. Rook e five. Uh, he probably play rook d eight. And uh, rook h five. I think this this once the d pawn starts moving, it's quite dangerous. Well. So maybe after rook e five, <laughs> and uh, he needs to play. Rook g5, knight g6, knight d4. 
Yeah. But even that is not possible. Sorry, that's not possible. No, no, I mean, he's not uh, getting the blockade. No, it's uh, it's not working. Yeah, and and no. I like Black's position after d4. That's a dangerous pass pawn. Let's let's start again. Like Queen g7. What to play now? Rook e5. Yeah, rook e5 or uh, or queen c5 looks even better for me. Sorry, I, I prefer queen c5, and queen my c5. point is that uh, After you want to take yeah, I want to take five. that and well, rook d8. d8. Now I have rook e7. Okay, is this something I don't know? Queen a1 queen check. No, I want oh. to play queen f6. I want to give you up this pawn. Yeah, and then I want to start pushing. Yeah, this looks quite. Uh, but there might be night. Uh, uh, it's very hard to see what is uh, happening here because when you're not in the game, uh, it's like you don't feel it. It's a lot of calculation, a lot of tactics. Yeah, a happening. lot of calculation. But I think queen c5, mm -hmm. rook d8, rook e7, queen f6. Uh, but you can also go queen a1 check. I mean, I don't know. Is it is it worthwhile to go? I just don't want to take my queen too far. From no, no, no. Rook. But wait, your rook is on e7. You see, you are safe now. You, you. I'm I'm talking about not wasting a move. When he played rook e7, not oh, play okay. queen f6. Play, play queen a1 check. Yeah. yeah okay. Still. Okay. And then king h2, just b6, just save that pawn, and then disturb the queen. And I don't know. This this may be. Queen e3. I don't I don't trust in the taking the queen too far from the king. Yeah, yeah. Queen h6 is coming up. And yeah, that, that that's pretty deep. Or queen g5 and then queen h6. Uh, it will be very dangerous. Maybe. Okay, and the queen will have to come back. By yeah, the I agree, I agree. Yeah. But okay, maybe check b6, save the pawn and then bring the queen back. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, yeah. Check and, and yeah. then, you know. Um, <coughs> okay, uh, queen g7. <coughs> I, I think queen c5, he might even play queen uh, d7 as well, I think. Yeah. Uh, rook e5. Rook e5 looks pretty good because white is uh, down two pawns. Yeah, rook d8. The many pawns uh, he grabs, it's going to be better and better for him. Yeah, but, but here, you see, you're, you're losing the momentum once he gets d4. Am I? Yeah. Okay, d4. Yeah. Can I just play, give a check? King h8 and yeah. a rook d5? Yeah, this is possible. Yeah, this is definitely King possible. Is. So you're saying grab the pawn on h5 at least. It's I'm, I'm, tell, I'm saying like grab as many pawns as you can because, <laughs> because uh, you never know. You know, you, you think like, okay, they are mine anyway, so I'll take them. But sometimes you miss the opportunity. Yeah, but rook e5, this again. looks, I, maybe I shouldn't play d4, rook e5. Uh, you know, rook e5, uh, I should go knight g6, uh, no, rook d8, and then rook h5, knight g6. No, no, rook h5, then knight g6. I think this this is activating the knight makes sense for me. Okay, let me think here. Um, well, I don't know. Not that easy. Maybe you I got queen c5 still. No, no, no. Yeah. I have knight g5. Here. Yeah, this is also equally very troublesome for him. Yeah. Say knight f4. I don't know what is happening here. Um, I think you go like. Uh, queen h7. I can play, but I will lose because. Yeah, I lose this pawn. pawn yeah. Um, rook h7, queen g5. And. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think I think what White Let's needs to be to careful that. here is that yes, winning the H5 he pawn is. Queen C5. He uh, listened to you. Yeah. <laughs> and now Black has only three minutes on the board. And, uh, yeah, the and, and then if for Rook D8, I think he's going Rook E7. I think he feels that. Yeah. Or even you know for Rook D8, there is this super move Knight D4. Well, I, I like this blocking move. That that was my idea. Like uh, rook d8, let's put the knight no, on d4. No, rook e7, and then uh, you know. I, I don't want to put rook e7 yet because I can put it there any time. But knight d4 is like, uh, yeah, okay, right, actually. Yeah, it looks, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, time pressure with yeah. three minutes on the clock. Exactly. This is going exactly. to be interesting. So, anything else? Uh, no, uh, let's down? check out what is happening. Any on other the upsets board today? Because. Uh, well, oh ho, let's check. So, 
Rook a1 was played, knight f5, rook g6, takes, takes. Check, and then white is taking another pawn, and white is winning a pawn now on the second yeah. board. So he put the pressure, put the pressure, put the pressure, but the question is, is it enough to win this game? I think it will be a really long game because, uh, you know, yes, you got these two pass pawns, and I think, I, I, I feel that white will push this because, you know, he... He's got a situation whereby the black king is exposed and there's no nothing like knight g2. Yeah. I, I think once the h pawn starts moving, it will be really difficult it's to stop especially it. Especially rooks with the bishop, it's uh, going to be something else. Mm. Well, white has a lot of chances to win in this position now. Because, okay, what to play here with the black pieces? What, uh, what is the black's idea? Yeah, I think if you go king d6... Okay, let's say king d6, and I want to grab this pawn. Yeah. I was thinking the other way from a5 to g5, but... I want to keep the rooks uh, from both sides, yeah. so... Yeah, this, this, Maybe the other this, one this is, is right, not so. easy. This is not easy. Knight f5. Okay, you stop my uh, f4. Plan, yeah. h4, sorry. Yeah, you can go bishop e4 and all. There's, it's it's, it's going to... Yeah constantly play upon black and there will be something going wrong like because your rook, rook on uh, e8 is completely yeah. out of play and you know you can't stop it so well uh, the thing is uh, well, black is thinking now but white uh, created some chances so. and there is a chance that he's going to catch up the leader of the tournament actually they were leading the whole tournament together Ferosev and Xuxianju and then at some point, Xuxianju did a draw, mm -hmm. and Fedosev won yesterday. So basically, this is uh, his chance to catch him up and uh, see what happens. And their yeah. game ended in a draw. Okay, we have a move. No, this this will be this will become very unplayable very King soon. King d4 happened. King d4. Okay, so he's he's hoping that when you capture on g5 something e5 will be played. I think I think, but this king is very very precarious. Well, I feel like, okay, let's say take here, and then I will give a check. Yeah, I'll King just D. throw my rook to e4. Yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty uh, thing. I think the only chance for black is that knight f1 check. Maybe that's what he's a aiming mm. for. Let's say uh, king g1. Oh, no, sorry, no, you, sorry, you sorry, can't because yet. in check. Okay, let's say here. And I offered the rook e4, but I'm not sure about... Mm, why not? Okay, Knight f1 check. Here and... Uh, rook a4 was played here. Yeah, rook a4 check was sensible. Yeah, and then sensible. takes on g5. Yeah, looks it's like very, very, very sensible. Like, as like I say, you know, this will yeah. be, you know, Grandmaster's uh, technique coming into yeah, play. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how uh, Grandmasters are winning with the one extra pawn in the end yeah, game. Yeah, after a long fight, it's just... Yeah. Is that not it's one slowly, extra pawn? Slowly, slowly, pressed, pressed. He had a little advantage because of the pin. And then a few calculations, and then he grabbed the pawn. Yeah. Not, not did, yet. Did Adiban win today? Is he back in the reckoning? Let's check it out. Adiban is... Adiban won today. He is back. Wow, nice road. game, isn't it? It looks like. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let, let's run through this because, you know, yeah. this guy deserves Absolutely. a break, you know, after such a very nice guy, by the way. I know him very personally and, you know, yeah, he needs too, this very nice win with the exchange sacrifice. So, after the oh, what is that rook a7, I think? <laughs> he, he was trying to... He's trying to play b6. And yeah, b6, b6 and, okay. Castle b6, d4. And then d4, yeah. The c6 is... Uh, in a horrible mess and, yes. and I don't know why players you know kind of delay the development you know yeah but uh, e4 like now white controls the center yeah yeah we did see that after knight b3 well knight g4 okay yeah and Ooh. oh now the sacrifice Ooh. wow Ooh. wow 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 this is it. This yeah. is Adiban. This is Adiban we know. Because now, can't play 93 because of rookie 7 check. 
uh, after this there is just check and white is taking very the nice very nice isn't it very nice it must be very uh, you know like he rook should feel seven. that he's just, got the uh, thing into the rook d7 uh, nice tactics and uh, knight e3 rook e7 is uh, exactly and uh, now white has two pieces against rook yeah which so how how did he convert this okay so for the viewers he think you know immediately he centralized his knight yeah and you know it's it's very very important that you you know for aspiring chess players yeah. who are watching our commentary you know this is all grandmaster stuff and and just you know this quiet moves and then this knight is his sacrifice six. doesn't let it go again the king in this in the center and uh, yeah. well after this move black just resigned very nice i feel like after rook to seven it was yeah he's got nothing clear. now has he can he stop the mate no he can't no. D6, rook, rook f8 is a threat. Uh, rook f8, d6 is a threat. <laughs> <It's> a threat. <laughs> so this is, uh, I'm really Bishop happy. Bishop h3 is another threat. Yeah. You know. yeah me I think too. this, this so. game should give him satisfaction. And yeah. how many points is he now? Uh, d1. He's moved on to 6. Check. Actually, I can check it here. He has uh, four and a half points out of eight, which is, of course, not the result that he yeah, he wants to but be showing. So, uh, so four and a half out of eight. Okay, he still needs to win the last yeah. game to save some rating points. But this yeah. is like he's back really nice. Yeah, today he won a nice game. Also, uh, two days ago he was supposed to win a very nice game, but it didn't work out. And yeah, and he's bounced back. Yeah, we we can say he's bounced back. Yeah, that's why we were worried, like how his game is going, because it's not that yeah. easy to recover. But of course, he's a practiced chess player. He's been into uh, yeah. so it, many situations. He saw so many things happening in the so, chess So the other point board. I was going to ask you that you know you are from a very uh, strong chess nation. Yes. So is it very similar to what is happening in India? Like they put in six hours, eight hours. That what Armenian players do. Uh, it depends. Uh, usually when we are having a chess camp, uh, yes, we are training many hours. Yeah. When we are not having a chess camp, we are like training three. When I was a kid, okay, I was training like three times a week in a chess academy. And later uh, yeah. I, was ha I was getting my homework or I was forced to train at home, you know. So that's how it worked. I was never a hardworking person, to be honest. I'm <laughs> not supposed to say yeah, it, yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, no, but I think that, you know, some countries facilitate that, isn't it? Yeah. Like a country like India, there's support from the school, support from the college. We didn't get the support yeah, but, for but, the school um, because... For, for, for example, some of the European countries, you know, you still have to go to the school, you still have yeah. to get... Same for us, we and, have to uh, go to the school. Yeah, and, uh, and I remember one of the, um, you know, somebody quoted an English grandmaster saying, that you know, um, you know, working in a bank is a safer environment than playing chess out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, for us, no. We have to go to the school. We have to go to the college lessons. Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, I mean, uh, it, like it depends from the family. Like for example, for my family, it was always very important to get yeah. the education, be educated, and not only do chess. Yeah. So. Uh, but it depends from the family. Also, the yeah. schools, it depends from the schools, like um, yeah. where you go, how they want you to study. But also depends, as I told you, from uh, family, if they want you to get and, your and education uh, fully or they don't and, want to get you and, fully. And this Abu Dhabi Chess Festival, I think, has played a very big role in aspiring juniors yeah. to come here to play in the open of tournament. Course. And, you know, right from of many course. years has been a very good tournament where you know you don't play like you know five days nine rounds yeah. so you know it's it's really one of the good uh, thing and uh, you know so it's some it's some of the armenian strongest chess players they were supposed to come to play here okay which are my friends and uh, then they told me that they cannot come because uh, apparently you know in um, germany there will be the world uh, rapid team championship okay and that's they, <laughs> They were playing so many tournaments in a row yeah. and they were like, uh, we really want to play there, but, but we cannot, physically we yeah. cannot. So I, I wish I could uh, have them here, to be honest. Yeah, because, yeah. I, uh, I think this tournament will attract and, you know, that would be it, it's one of these tournaments where, you know, for the parents also it's an enjoyable yeah. event, you know, and I've seen tournaments where they play nine rounds in five days. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's really like, you know, you're going through the chocolate block. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I hear. Uh, uh, I mean, our viewers they don't see what is happening in the backstage uh, yeah. behind the Masters tournament, but the event is so big. It's more than 
1,700 people participating in 14 events in Abu Dhabi Chess Festival, because Abu Dhabi Chess Festival is not only the Masters Tournament, yeah. it's the Open A, Open B, yeah, yeah. a lot of Rapid and Blitz Tournaments, like today we were playing a Ladies Blitz Tournament, which was another very interesting yeah. uh, event. 1,700 people traveling from all around the world and uh, to play here, to participate in this chess celebration, we can yeah, say. Which from is 61 countries, I heard 61 that. countries to participate yeah. in this chess celebration. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's so, it's so good to, as a chess lover, it uh, gives me such a satisfaction to see like people coming, enjoying the chess uh, atmosphere, everything. The yeah. chess players together, it's very nice. Okay. So what's your prediction uh, that, uh, you know, we, we are we saying that board number two is definitely... Uh, by the way, we have a new result on the board number nine. And apparently um, Atahan drew against Vohidov. And by the way, the white player Ahadan, he had also five points. Yeah. And, but it uh, looks like this is a good result for him because uh, he was, his opponent was way higher rated than him. And... Um, yeah, this is uh, on the second board. Let's see what happened because this is, uh, I guess, our main board for today. Okay, now he took. He repeated king d4 and then now he took knight f1, as you said, and king g1. And what is the black's idea now? I think black's idea is to disturb king that three? bishop. King g3 doesn't work. Yeah, but rook knight b1, d2. rook b1. After rook b1, I there is king f2. There is king f2, f2 so you're okay. Yeah. I'm more than so okay. I think I think he's aiming for knight d2. Knight, uh, knight d2. d2 because now he wants to hit the bishop. You see. Do I have some checkmating ideas here or not really? Like pushing the king further and further. Yeah. This is my idea. Um, maybe rook g4. Rook g4, or g4 king e3. There is rook d1. No, rook g4, well, king e3, rook a3 is there, isn't it? And rook yeah. b3. Uh, can we say that white has uh, white has to be winning already, and he just needs a little technique to uh, get yeah. to this position. I don't like the fact that you know, black's pawn on e6. You know that will be picked up, and then you know this will become an end game. So wh what black is trying to do is to knock off the bishop, so that you know at least there's a rook end game. He's got a chance, yeah. but but as yeah, you I'm said, rook g4 check here. I, I, I like this quite a bit. Uh, there's no rook g4 check because... But uh, is there a chance that black so wants to play like rook c8? Okay, rook a4 check. King has to come to c3 or d3. Let's say king d3. Will it be followed by rook a3? White uh, just needs to exchange a few more, one of the rooks, I think, and then the rest mm. will be easier for them. Yeah, much easier if a rook is exchanged. So the position on the board is that knight f1 check and knight e3 has been played. Yeah. Okay. Maybe so bishop b4 here. This is the position, rook a4. Okay, so he's thinking. He yeah. can't go back. He, he needs to decide between going to d3. Oh, uh, king d3, bishop e4 check. Yeah. King d2, said rook d4 rook check. D4 check. Every, They're yeah. pushing the king further and further and further and so that the pawns will walk to the... Especially this h pawn. It will be happy. The, the further the king, the better. Yeah. Well, uh, we can say that... Uh, Shuk Sanju has uh, very, very good chances to catch up the leader. Yeah, catch leader. up with the leader. And shall we go And they have played game? each other, so... They already played each other. And so in the also. next game, again, this looks very drawish, isn't this it? This looks very drawish. And uh, Artemia has uh, one minute on the clock. But this looks so drawish. I don't yeah. know. It's like, yeah. shall we check this? I think uh, we can... Yeah, we can look at uh, the... Yeah, yeah, this one. So Rook D8. King b1, knight c7, queen f5. Yeah, the idea is e6, you know, that was the main idea. Knight b5, queen d3, d4, Yeah. and rook e1. Yeah. I think the question here... But I think uh, white didn't play well at some point. Yeah, I think, I think check? something like, went... Okay, knight c5 here, let's go to this position. And queen e6, okay, we stopped here. So king b1. Uh, Okay, king b1, he has to play safe, and queen f5. Maybe queen g6 was needed here. Yeah, queen g6, I think the issue is that d4 can be played, and rook f7 is queen e5. Okay, can we check? 
can I start with the E6? Yeah, E6 is definitely possible. D3, right? Yeah, D3, yeah. 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 Well, okay, Queen F5 was played. Uh, knight uh, B5, Queen D3 and D4. D D4 and, and White played Rook E1. I think I think this knight needs to come to c4 to to get any advantage. How is the black knight coming to c4 now? That's no way. <laughs> it's gonna take too long. Knight c7, knight a8, knight b6. It's gonna take uh, yeah. way too long, too much time. Um, for example, if rook b8 here, uh, threatening to play knight a3 right away, what will white play? Yeah, rook b8 looks quite nice. Then he has to maybe go king a1. Then knight c3, I don't know. I want to play a rook a8 after king a1. Yeah, some heavy sack coming yeah. on that. So rook b8 is, is kind of good. Let's say rook b8. Yeah. Uh, is there a possibility to play king c1? Yeah, uh, king c1 now and then... Uh, 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 So is that knight c3 doesn't work now, isn't it? Knight c3, no, it he just takes, oh, there's shouldn't nothing. Shouldn't work, yeah. Queen a3 checking, d2, and then... Uh, this is, I think, the... Well, I... What's happening here? For knight c3 was played. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're guessing all the moves today, huh? Yeah? No, no, we are, our, our, yeah, you know, we are focused on the different. zone, you see, that yeah. that's what it is. Here I, is a little I, bit I, different, the king is on b1. Yeah for now but okay what happens after king c1 after king c1 i think knight d5 and knight e3 knight i think uh, now i feel black is consolidated okay, let's, let's check what happens if captures i think it's, it's just queen a3, a3 right? queen b8 yeah rook b8 nothing and white has only a minute on the clock to, yeah to play but king c1 probably is going to be played because after yeah. king a1 maybe again i can play rook a8 yeah this the is idea of rook a3 and this has to be yeah i'm threatening a8. queen d5 played king c1 and knight d5 yeah, this is what we said, that knight will yes. sit on e3, and now I feel that the black is making some progress here. Yes. And uh, at least white is not making progress. <laughs> so black's uh, got this knight out to a good... And like I said, that after knight e3, I also want to go to knight c4. Yeah. So, but it's still, he's, he's got lots of... Uh, Maybe knight to c4 with the tempo, so... You know, I, f I feel like uh, they hear you and they want to do the moves that you're saying. So he, the threat is knight f4 and uh, d3. Yeah. So rook e4, G3. what happens to rook e4? Maybe g3. Or no, what happens to rook e4 now? Okay, rook e4 is threatening also to take. And then maybe the knight will come to c4. But uh, let's check it out. Knight e3 is impossible because rook e3. Uh, yeah. Rook d4 is hanging. So knight b6 with the knight idea b6, of... b6, yeah. Yeah, knight b6. Or knight e7 just to block this Yeah, even, case, even blockade yeah. is, is quite nice. So so again, this is leading to some really good play. And again, you know, a win by black would obviously propel him to tie for the first place. So he's trying really hard. I think this was actually played in the game. Rook e4 and knight e7 was played in the game. Oh, uh, played in the game. Yeah, well yeah. done. So we are getting all the... Uh, we have another draw, of course, on the board three that we stopped checking from here. Uh, shall we move to the game of uh, Ratanwell? Ratanwell, sorry. I think that was quite interesting to see what happened in that game. Okay, it opened. Yeah. So h4. Yeah. Uh, B3 was. Played, yeah, which yes. is what we predicted, isn't mm -hmm. it? Just consolidated everything and then. Rook e2, g5, yeah. rook f e1. Yeah. E3. Yeah, because of that bishop d4, knight e3 now, bishop d4, and now Take. fg5. In, and Oh, we got this another perpetual But uh, maybe pin. this wasn't played right by blue white. Wait a minute. Uh, something went wrong after, after e3, maybe knight e3. Well, what happens see here the, for see g5? The, the, yeah. Yeah, rook okay, G5. Rook F5 also. Okay, no, no, rook, rook G5 is rook F5, king F2. Yeah. Okay, rook F8. Yeah, and king then G1 king G1, and, and then yeah, this this is rook Zwang. This is rook Zwang. None yeah. of the okay. No, no, no. He would not play B5. Sorry, 
the moment you the moment you relieve the pressure then he will go king h1 uh, he can't go king, king h1 true, and uh, rook e8 doesn't work because there is yeah. knight d5 nice tactics yeah so black had to play here rook e8 yeah and king f2 is a draw to stop this uh tactical way to go out so many pins we saw today that uh, knight was pinned by bishops and rooks also yeah. on the second board and they were they were trying to go out and also in this game somehow white managed to go out and this is this is insane i mean after rookie eight white uh, is in so after one. after king f2 uh okay. king f2 i play rook g5 yes and then you have uh, you don't have king f3 that's the point isn't it Oh, you, maybe you have king f3. I can play rook g3 maybe. Yeah, and then king f4. Okay. Maybe knock off and then... King f4 might yeah. be... Uh, looks a bit fishy, isn't it? It but looks fishy, but I feel like uh, here after rook e8 is like... King yeah, f2, but this I don't have to take rook g5, first of all. I can just play... Yeah, uh, oh, no, 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 I have an interesting suggestion. I'm so sorry. It's rook f... No, no, no. I want to play rook f5 check. King, king g1, g1, now rook g5. Isn't it the same? Yeah, but but he I've gained a move now. King H two. King H two now uh, rook. Yeah, the uh, king rook. is not on G six. Rook yeah. five. Rook, rook e G five. five, and then yeah. this this is finish. Yeah. So well, I feel like uh, King G six was a bad move because it lets. Uh, yeah, 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 missed opportunity because King G six is just allowing for this knight d5, knight yeah, f4. Yeah, so he, he, moved, he moved king h1, did he? Yeah, it was uh, a bad no, oh. opportunity. He played bishop f2, but let's yes. show very fast after rook e2. It was yeah. trying to be knight f4 check, king g5. Low on time, but it wasn't very long time. And, yeah. and this is how he missed the winning position. Yeah. So what happened in the game was he uh, just... Bishop f2, rook e5, uh, and rook f1, and now yeah. this is going to be a draw. Of course, they're going to play, but but instead of king g6, I feel like any other move, uh, not to give this opportunity to let this pin no, go No, 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 there, there is a point of black's play that now he will put bishop g3 check. Yeah, okay, but uh, what that, I'm saying is that uh, after this position, yeah. instead of king g6, king g6 was a very bad move. Uh, because King G6 is just letting black to go out and uh, white to go out. Out of the pin. Yes. And See, he could have got the same position. And now this, uh, how does he stop this E3, E2? Oh. White still has to struggle to get a draw, but uh, after the previous position. Yeah, but because this E3 is coming, I don't see any defense. Yeah, I don't see any. E3. Oh, he plays knight e3, okay. Yeah, he just uh, blocks the pawn and... Very, very, very uh, yeah, it was a missed opportunity by Matlak of king g6 allowing for the white pieces to go out from the square, from the pin, it was not necessary. I feel like if he didn't let it go, uh, the game would go the other direction. Of yeah. course, here... But white uh, can we show to our viewers that, that after rook f5 check and rook g5, What's what's happening there? Rook uh, Black is winning. Is it winning? Yes. Is absolutely. it is, is it Rook of Five? Anything. Uh, no, Rook of Five. It? I was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, anywhere, whatever Black plays, it's winning. Just not King G Six. Yeah, Rook of Five check. So what's the win we are saying? Rook of Five check. King G One. Rook takes G Five. King F Two. Rook of Five check. We are saying again. King G One. Just don't bring the King to G Six. Yeah, and then whatever you want to. And play. then are we saying? Are we saying rook e5 now and then king at, or king at 6? Okay, everything is stuck here, isn't it? Okay, that's the whole point. So king at 6, king at 5. Or what, what, even rook b5 I can take somewhere. Just not playing king g6 to oh, allow okay. this. Okay. Uh, everything, whatever black plays is winning. Because white is in zugzwang, black is just collecting the pieces and... Yeah, so basically this is the idea. And any move except uh, king g6 is winning, but king g6... So what happened in the game was... Uh, what happened in the game is that uh, black played king g6 and it and allowed, allowed this... Uh, and now white plays king, g, uh, king h2, first of all takes the king out of this pin. Yeah. Black is trying to do the same idea when yeah, the but king that, was he going away. Knight defy. He missed knight d5. So that the knight cannot move, but now unfortunately the knight can move. And after rook e2... White is uh, gone out from the pin. 
Yeah. So knight. So, uh, so he played bishop f2, which is a good yeah. move. So king g6 was a missed opportunity yeah. by Matlakov to win this game. So this is played in the game. This, yeah. This so I mean. This so is so what is he threatening now? Is he is he threatening rook c3 now? Yeah, well, white, uh, bla of course, black is going to push a lot here. Um, he's threatening rook c3 because. Yeah, but I think this is this is quite decisive for black, isn't it? Because uh, you know you got this rook c3, rook b3, rook b5. You know yeah. this is still the and king. White is doesn't have time. It's only forty-five seconds on the board. And yeah. I think black still has the play here, so... But what happened? Uh, well, I cannot see the board. Okay. Okay, he played. He played rook d1. Okay, what happens after uh, rook c3? I think he's going... He played on five seconds, by the way. Yeah, he, he, I think he has got to go knight f1 now, isn't it? And he's playing for this draw. Yeah. And then rook b3 just... Oh, no, he can't draw because this is still losing, isn't it? It, uh, it looks like... For me, it looks like, but uh, I feel like uh, Black has to struggle to get this point while he could just get it easily. Yeah, so rook c3 played, yeah? Mm. Uh, rook c3 wasn't played yet, though. Uh, Black is thinking. Well, shall we check what is happening on the second board? Yeah, and, okay, uh, by all means, we'll yeah, we should, we should check this because is this is a very important game. Yeah. King d3, uh, h4 was Yeah, played. just simply, you know, you have, you have, oh. Oh, and then knight f1 check, he goes there, knight d2 coming, bishop h5, rook h1 check, and then I think, I, I feel that, that slowly white is just improving, only position. white is making yeah. any progress, now I believe rook e5 check, king oh, f2, oh wow, okay, wasn't there a, yeah, just, uh, I think rook f4 was also possible here, king g1 is uh, possible, isn't it? What would happen after rook f4? After rook f4 check, yeah. let's say king g2. Oh, yeah. I'm not taking the knight. No, 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 it's not taking the knight. But okay, g3 is also a very, very uh, safe move, we can yeah, say. Yeah, it's, 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 it's everything happening for white and his king has come out and the lack of coordination between the black pieces is, uh, is, 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 is going to play out here today. Yes. So g3 was played. This is our uh, current position. Okay, shall After we go? After g3, black is still thinking. And uh, yes, he's going to catch up the leader of the tournament. And we're going to have two leaders tomorrow. Yeah, that would be really exciting, isn't it? That so would be uh, interesting. So is Narayanan, was Narayanan able to make any, a, any more problems? Let's check Narayanan's game. Oh, a lot of stuff happened here. So... Uh, so he did. He did play that rook e7 and rook b7, and yeah. and I, I think I, I feel that. Uh, let's check again, right? So queen c5, rook yeah. e7, queen a1, king h2, yeah. queen f6, captures. Queen d6 check. Queen d6 check has to exchange and uh, looks pretty drawish now. Or white has a chance to win here. Rook d5. Everything looks natural. He so wins the pawn, two. and this looks very dry. <laughs> okay, so he has some plans of knight f6 check, isn't it, here? Taking on h7, and then maybe the knight will give it up itself for the pawn. And, uh, yeah, rook a2 is uh, knight f6 check, possibly. Yeah, knight f6 check. Is, he's got to yeah. win that pawn, isn't he's it? He's going to win that pawn and then this knight is going to give it up itself for this f-pawn. Yeah, is this going to be a very long end game? It's going to be a long end game. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Just to show our viewers, we yeah. can play knight f6 check and black yeah. has to allow... After king f8, there is knight h7 and after king f7 or g7, there is... Yeah, this is, this is combining. He can't play king f7 because this is very dangerous. He has to play king f8. And and so and seven, king g seven f four f four yeah and what's gonna happen here is knight e three check knight e three or or, or 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 sorry or even rook a five check is better actually because this might be working like knight g two here yeah you have to move your rook and then, and then I'm just gonna sacrifice take the, and then no, play for it or you even win that, even comfortable there yeah <laughs> so. Well, uh, we might see another draw. Yeah. And I offer to check the board to number four to see what happened here after 97. Uh, Queen B1 was yeah. played. 
yeah. Uh, maybe uh, white is not so bad now again. Yeah. After knight c3, uh, he did not accept, but then came knight d5, knight e7, and then queen d5 dominating, and now Everything finally he's, he's trying to come after that pawn now with oh, knight d8. My lack of position is improving. There, that. Yeah, yeah, it's really tricky, isn't it? He, this oh is no, oh, he okay. exchanged the queens. Oh wow, okay, okay. We but this looks see. like a win for black, isn't it? Uh, with are with we something. Sure about it? No, but the, the two pawns is going. I think it's very dangerous. But there is no consolidation. Also. That's the problem. It's dangerous for both of them. I, I have a feeling of it. Yeah, this looks quite dangerous. You know, with the king coming to b three and 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 uh, I feel that that if at all there's any chance, white has got the chance now, isn't it? With his pass pawns coming up the board and. The knight and the king are kind of stuck. Yeah, but uh, so, yeah, white pawns are just going. You know? Yeah, like amazing, a, amazing turn of because events. Because you see, you have one minute. Let's look at it from the practical yeah. uh, situation. And you have one minute on the clock. The pawns are coming. Yeah. And you see that you you probably have a few ways to stop them, and you have only one minute, and you have to st find uh, these opportunities in one minute. And for white, it's easy. It's just. Pum, 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 you know, yeah. working. Pawn, pawn is yeah. working. But I think now what's happening is that for a5, he will play rook c4. Yes. King, King b3, b3, rook c3, rook c3 check. C3 he check. will repeat, I think. He will repeat now, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's quite this, possible. This pawn is way. very dangerous, I think. It's quite possible. Shall we check Matlakov's game? Because they said there are some improvements happening there. So basically, we stopped at which moment? Well, not yeah. There. I think I think this uh, black is winning this yeah, one. Black uh, will it's win my. This one. King f4, rook d7, rook c1, check, king g5, and this is a position, and e3 is coming. e3 is coming, what to play? Yeah, no. How to stop e3? No way. Rook e7, right? This has to be the only move. And what can black play here? Yeah, rook e7 was played in the game. And what to play now? So is there bishop d6 something? Rook e4, bishop, bishop c5. But rook e5 in the end. No, okay, he's got that. Yeah. So king f5, he's going rook f7. Yeah, black has to make a decision now. But, but it why? looks king very f5. suspicious that if white can get out of this one, isn't it? Yeah, white shouldn't get out of this one. Yeah, Let's I think king e5, king, king e5. e6. King e6, King yeah. King f5, but uh, okay, white plays, let's say, b6. Okay. Uh, because I don't see any other move uh, happening here today. Now, let's say b6, how to improve the position? Maybe just now bishop d6. Yeah. Bishop d6, yeah. Well, well black is winning. Uh, I feel like he deserved this point, because <laughs> why? I mean, uh, okay, he let it go. But uh, also in the previous games, he was having some advantage and he was not managing yeah. to get there. And I feel like he lost a lot of uh, points in this tournament that uh, he could get a full yeah. point and he got a draw or something yeah, else. Yeah, I think this, this game will be really critical yeah. because... Of course, Ratanvel also deserved the game, but... Yeah, so rookie one is played, now E3 is coming anyway, isn't it? But Ratanvel, is he making Grandmaster norm? He, he's got all the Grandmaster norm, he only uh, needs the rating. He only needs the rating and he gets uh, 21 points. Uh, if he loses this game, okay, it's going to be like minus something, so it doesn't matter even if he loses tomorrow, he's going to make his uh, rating 2500 plus. Oh, but you were saying he lost some rating in the previous tournament. 18 right? points in the previous. Oh, okay. So but that's why he's still... So he, ne he needed to... But this, this one, this how do you stop E3, E2? There's no, yeah. there's no way of stopping. So he needed at least to draw this game. And then it... Yeah, I, I think we can ex expect resignation. Yeah. This is uh, painful, painful. Oh. He got but a nice chance with knight d5, but uh, then... No, I think the last go. chance is just still e3 is still not possible, but now what happens if I get my bishop off the ground? Uh, you mean e3? e3 is, e3 not, is possible not possible because, because rook e3. Yeah, rook e3, yeah. So yeah. maybe it's just e3. surviving just, just by the end of that. But now I think the bishop has to shift gears, but then he gets king f2, so maybe he's okay. Maybe just uh, attacking with the king, yeah, king f6 wants to play king f7 and push e3. 
Pity, pity. He got a chance and uh, he used his opportunity, but eventually... Uh, but it's understandable. The position is very hard to play against this bishop on g3, the king on the first rank. Uh, yeah, this is... He's, he's, getting, everything. he's getting his king hemmed in, isn't it? He's yeah. not going to... Uh, so this, this, you are right. King f6, king f7, and then yeah. the rook runs out of that, and uh, he, he can't even challenge anywhere, or you know, the, it's, it's just going to be mate. Yes. After e, he gets e3, even bishop f2 check, king h2, rook f1. We have moves. He, yeah, this is gone. This is going to be a resignation very soon. B6 and king f7. And yeah. I don't see anything happening here because even rook e5, it's not possible. The bishop is on. Yeah, the king and the knight stuck together with this past pawn. Should yeah, this is this is another win. So this guy moves up. Yeah. So Matlakov also has five points. Pity for Ratanvel uh, because he's so close to get his uh, GM title. Yeah, I'm sure he will. But but you know, in this tournament, that yeah, he had the chance already to yeah. just get it and it uh, didn't work out. So what what's the plan for E3? What what's he planning to do for E3? But maybe he still can make it if he wins tomorrow. Yes, maybe. Yeah, maybe he, a rook c7, but... But he's lost 18 point. points, so, you know, yeah. I mean, he, he's got to do it in another tournament. So it's not the fault of this tournament, it's the previous yeah. tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because here he's plus 21 points. And, uh, yeah, this tournament he's played well, but I think this game is going to affect him now. He can't stop e2. There's nothing he can do, nothing he can do. Oh, maybe he's... he's uh, yeah, maybe he's planning to put the rook on f3 after e2. Yes, I said rook c7, but even rook c7, bishop c7 takes rook c1 is enough, probably. Oh, c8 takes knight e3, goes out. Yeah, he's taken, yeah. Okay, but e2. Yeah. Takes an e2 and we're going to have... E2 a and queen and queen mate, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is gone. We're going to see a resolution. Okay, so soon. we go okay. on to another game. For the second board, uh, which is the most important one, as we told... Uh, Let's see what happened here. So bishop h5, we stopped at this moment. Uh, here, g3, rook f4, king g1, h5. Looks up. Oh, this rook g2 right. check. Yeah, rook g2, bishop e4. <laughs> rook h2, rook h1, checkmate. Wow, wow. We're going to have uh, another uh, resonation, I think, here too. Very soon, yes. Very soon. What a technique. Yeah, what, what an amazing technique, technique, I would say. You know, these are, you know, should be how things should be studied, you know. Yeah, I mean, we have a result in Matlakov's game. By the way, we can just. Uh, I think that game is over. That, uh, he just played. Yeah, I think he, that's gone now. As he well. took Bishop C7 and. Uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, E2 and that. then. Yeah, he everything just wins. Okay, e5 was played because uh, Black doesn't have any time. e5. Here's the question How to finish the game? Rook g2, it shall come, right? King h1. Yeah, well, but maybe I'm thinking rook g2, king h1. And then um, uh, maybe just move the rook from f4, rook f2. Yeah, I know that e5 has come, but... Well, he's trying. I think he can play even rook e5, and if rook c3, rook yeah. g5, also possible, but... But, but slow, maybe maybe he wants to finish the game very fast. Yeah. Maybe just rook f2, with the idea again, bishop e4 and rook g2 and... Yeah, that's... Uh, I think the problem is when you go rook f2, he starts uh, playing rook c3 and attacking your g2 pawn. Uh, we can put that position. No, but I can give a check. Rook, rook G2, G2 check right? and bishop E4. Yeah. yeah. It's not a. It's not a big of a deal. I'd like to check the game of uh, Gujero because yeah. let's see what happened with the two pawns. Well, let's check it out. So. Uh, we had this position, then they exchanged the queens, and then we got to this position, we thought we might see rook f3 to stop rook c3, to bring the king to b3 and uh, attach it, and d3. The idea is rook d3 check is knight d4 check. And yes, very nicely played, very nicely played. And rook c2. Very nice, maybe black is winning now. But yeah, now there is a lot of problems, isn't it, for him? 
Yeah. The pawns are not advancing. He's he's got he's, he's got himself in a bind. There was a, a direct bind. threat. Uh, knight b5 checkmate. So rook e4 had to be played. So he, can he do rook c3 check now and? King, uh, three, king a2. No rook c3 check king. Uh, a4 you mean. K4 a4 then. Uh, rook b3. Yeah. Rook b3 rook d4. Sorry. Yeah yeah yeah. Then rook c1. I was thinking rook c1. I will come back. Uh, yeah. And now you want to play rook a1? No, I was thinking that, that black should win this one somehow, isn't it? I mean, he might... And black uh, looks like... Yeah. Uh, maybe he can play like king's king d3. Nice. Nice move. Nice move. Didn't I have king d3 a little earlier? Okay, rook c3 was played, king a2, and maybe king d3 now. I'm not sure about this, though. But anyway, why black's got everything under control, so... Yeah, except the time. Yeah, this this will be a, another very hard fought win for uh, for the for the black player, and then we we and go into the thriller. And it's gonna be another. Um, if uh, Anton Gujera loses, uh, it's gonna be another. So he's gone rook f3 here, him. rook f3 with with the idea of king c3, and he's trying to come in. Okay, so this is big clash of grandmasters, and uh, we can see. And Ratanavel resigned. Do you, have you checked it? Yeah, yeah he did. Uh, he's, he's just given up. Okay, it's, it's gone. Suk Sanjay, we have to check this game. Uh, yeah, this see. game is uh, still very, very hot. Yeah. So what? So what happened after that? And uh, he King played. Uh, five, five. Rook f six. Rook f six. Uh, idea is simple. Bishop e four. I think whatever white plays here, it's going to yeah, be. And now g four. Even I, I recommend you know. Yeah. yeah, the pawn is available. Everything is available That's for. Easy to play. But he's just trying to put I'm this king. I'm trying to check uh, what happens in the uh, Anton Gujeros uh, situation in the tournament. Like, what kind of a game he's showing? And uh, the top level, is, this is quite. Uh, <laughs> I think he's. Uh, Look, Suk Chanju is of course is uh, in peak. Because uh, this kind of a technique, this can is can you uh, play rook f2 and then maybe rook c2? The rook was on f2. Yeah, okay. so it was doubled anyway. Rook c2 is a possibility. Oh, he plays it. I can't. Oh, he's getting that extra tempo now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so because he can't be challenged on c3, and now the other rook is coming to f2, and and, and there's bishop e4 check now. Oh, By that's way, a brilliant have, mate. It's a brilliant mate, yeah. So he has to go rook e1 to stop that. Let's check but then right. still bishop e4 check. King, King g1. g1, rook g2 check. And then king h1, rook h2 check. double check, rook h1. And what a beautiful How mate. he pushed the king to the edge of the board. board. And the, wow. Uh, amazing, isn't it? It is, it is. By the way, we have another result on the board number eight. And uh, Pranit beat uh, Aryan Chopra. Yeah. In a beautiful game. So he has six points also. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the, to check this uh, second uh, board because Rook C2. Uh, Black is still thinking what to do, but this, yeah, this, this is, is a brilliant. such a beautiful game. This is a, this is a very good chess. This is yeah. the chess we are waiting for. We were waiting. Okay, for. he resigned. He resigned and uh, so Xiu what's Xianju, the ranking now? Can you Xiu quickly? Xianju, I cannot check it. We don't have uh. it yet. But uh, Xiu Xianju beats uh, Suleimanli, and he is catching up our sole leader Fedosev before the last round. And tomorrow we're gonna have a very very close exciting fight. game. And they have played each other, place. isn't they it? They already played each other. A very exciting game. They played against each other. Vupala Pranith is about to make his eighth decisive result in a row. Uh, can I ask on which board is he playing? Very nicely played. Very nicely played by uh, by Xiu Xianju, honestly. Like, okay, what happened here? Oof, 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 oof. What is what happened here? Wait. We what? left it at that point where it's taken on C2. Yeah, here. Rook F3. <laughs> and he just stops. But uh, this is more than enough to win this game, yeah. 
What what is is it a turn of uh, thing? Is what what is he saying? King A5, King, King C5, B6. What what's happening here? King A5 just uh, rook eight. Oh B6, he's got B6 King C6. And King C6. It just stops the pawns. King A5 was played in the game. Meanwhile. Yeah, and uh, Rook A8. Can I play King B6 if I wanted a draw? Uh, can I just uh, rook after rook a8? You mean king b6? Can I just play like? Yeah, you got rook b8 check. That's the problem. Yeah. Sorry, you got rook b8 yeah. check. Yeah. King c7, I take and I can't, I can't play that. And so after I, this, maybe I can just play here a7 check. Yeah. King goes somewhere. And, and then, then the back rank. Yeah, yeah the back rank. And then finish. my king is way closer to your. Pawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a, another game that is coming. So, but is there anything else? Oh, uh, 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 he went to rook f7. Was played. Is this also winning? Yeah. So I think b6 is going to go. B6 just king c6 and everything. No, b6 is fine. he goes king c6. B7 he goes. Rook f8. Rook f8, and then Easy. there's no progress yeah. there. So very nicely played by Black, and king now b6 king b6. Was played, but, uh, I I think he can go rook f6 check. Let's check very quickly what is happening in the Narayanan's game because uh, we predicted yeah. to have a very. Oh, oh okay. again, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is a, what they will we play see. for forever. So. Yeah, this will be. <laughs> this was our, our prediction, right? Uh, we said it's going to. Yeah, we said this is going to be a, played forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to end up the rook and knight against the rook, and it's going to be played yeah. forever. Yeah. Yeah. I think that you know we see that uh, you know. Um, Maybe Aravind Chidambaram will be playing with this, uh, you know. We, so we basically, we can say now that we will have two players with six and a half point. Yeah. And then we will have, let me calculate, one. Um, two. Three. Four. Four players with uh, six points. Yeah. So we're going to have two players with six and a half points who played against each other there already. And we're going to have four players with a six and six points. And, uh, well, we can say that uh, it depends from the tie breaks, but uh, most probably a uh, draw for Fedosev and Xuxian Ju is more yeah. than enough to keep their place in top three. But, uh, of course, they're going to try to win. And uh, Fedosev is going to be white tomorrow. The round yeah. starts at 10 a.m. And Xiu Xianju is going to play black. Okay. Most probably. I cannot guess yet because we yeah. don't know the pairings. But this is what is going to happen yeah. in the final and decisive match of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival before we will know who is the winner of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival 2023. Yeah. What happened here? I think he's... he's you he can just... Take on a rook seven, f7 take on check. A5 and yeah. Now rook f7 it. check king b8 and then he plays king d5 a8 queen check and then take and then this king yeah. is much quicker. Evan, Evan just reminded us that the difference between the first place and sixth place is $13,500. So it's going to be a lot of fight happening tomorrow. Okay, a lot of fight tomorrow. Yeah, and I think we've seen really good chess today. Of course, every every half point will be very decisive and will give a lot of... Uh, so the prices are difference. not shared, is that what... No, it's not shared, agreed? I guess. Uh, I, need, I need to check it down. Yeah. Maybe I uh, can check it down very quickly, just if we have time. Yeah. So really good uh, thing now. A8 queen check, and then uh, and then yeah, and then check check of course. So Anton Guerrero loses his game against Lu Shang Li, and we have another player who will have six points. And well, it's a question now: who is going to be the winner of the tournament? And of course, it's, take it's, with it's him all home. turn open. Uh, you Take know. with him fifteen thousand dollars to home, and yeah. uh, the prices are really high. And yeah. the difference between the first and the second place is already five thousand dollars. Yeah, so which it's, is, it's everything uh, everything to play for. Everything to play for. So we're gonna see a lot of exciting games tomorrow, and. Well, I think we have only one game left, uh, Rook and a Knight against the Rook, but this is not. Uh, this is gonna go for a long time. Forever. 
So thank you everyone for being together with us. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. local time, we are starting the last round of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival. Yeah. It is going to be a fire. Yeah, this Don't is going to be out. the fire. You're going to you're going to watch uh, crucial games with uh, crucial with games. It, lots of prize money being in in thing, yeah. and uh, please to uh, tune in at 10 a.m. to watch this uh, this you know watch exciting games. It will be very exciting tomorrow. I cannot wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, everyone. And one more time, you were following the 29th Abu Dhabi Chess Festival. It was round eight. Today with you were International Master Ravi Kumar and me, Woman Grandmaster Maria Gevorkian. It was our pleasure. See you tomorrow for the last round. Yeah, thank you very much. Keep up the comments coming. We 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 really pleased. We are happy to look at any game that uh, you know and uh, really good. And is Narayanan going to be playing all night? Uh, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Okay. I hope I hope he will have energy yeah, to recover I, I, for yeah, tomorrow's I, I, Sunday. I think game. I think this is uh, you know this is yeah. Uh, yeah. will have to be played. You know these are all learning of curve. Of course he has to play okay. it. He has to try, but we will go because yeah. we also have to wake up. Uh, yeah, we have to come morning, back in right? the morning. Yes. Yeah. So see you everyone. Don't miss it out. <laughs>